everybody. Hi. Welcome to AFK this evening. Uh, I'm James. I'm joined with... Nelson. And Ben. Yeah. And as you can see in front of us here, we have six booster boxes of Hour of Devastation. And if you've joined us for the, I believe, last two sets we've done this for, it might actually be three now, I can't remember. We've done three. I think it was all the um, yeah. The Wednesday before release, um, Yellow Jacket and Nelson have come in with the case that they would generally open anyways. Um, because they have local game stores have to stock their shelves, and that's how they do it. They just open product. I sell some singles, yo. And guys sell them singles. So we thought, hey, we like cracking booster packs, and you guys seem to enjoy watching it. So why not put the two together and uh, stream it? So that's what we've done the last couple times. Um, last time was actually the same group of us. Yeah, uh, right. it went fairly well. Uh, we opened one masterpiece, and it was the one. We didn't know. We, we didn't, didn't open any true. masterpieces. We didn't open any masterpieces. It was Paul. <laughs> who opened the masterpiece, the luck sack. Look, he even has his own camera this time. <laughs> Probably just in case. <laughs> what a Jesus. All right, so um, the way this is going to work is we're going to go through, open all these boxes. We're going to talk about cards that we're excited about, talk about implications in, in Limited, in Standard, in uh, Modern, maybe, in Highlander. Uh, basically, all the cover all the bases. And um, hopefully we have some interesting conversations and open some cool cards and just generally have a fairly relaxed evening. I, so I'm going to start clearing these down here. I have a, I have a, uh, an idea. Uh huh. We should make Paul open the first pack. We should make Paul open very the very first, first pack? Yeah, the very first pack. I was going to have an idea that if we were going to open a masterpiece, it was going to be in the first pack. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. then, I'm feeling so like if, if we use Paul's luck. Let's get a foil okay. on missions here, Paul. So, Paul. Um, shot. Would you yeah. like row one, two, or three? And how many down? Yeah, you've got three uh, by twelve all right, here. Let's go. Let's go row three. Uh -huh. right. Four down. Okay, here it is. You want the fourth down, or do you want fourth and then the then down, so the fifth? So you want the fourth down, right? That's <laughs> Just what you give said. Number four. <laughs> You're confusing Bingo. me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm mainly doing that on purpose. Do you want a diagonal or do you want a full all box? Right. All right, here we go. First pack of the night. Give it to Paul. If there is a masterpiece in there. I will just this leave. This person on front. Uh, well, I, think I don't know either. I, I think that's one of the. It's an eternalized it angel of condemnation. No. No. Um, it's not a planeswalker from the storyline. I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure it's an angel. I haven't played with these cards. Angel yet at all. of the God Pharaoh. I judged one pre-release, but. Alrighty, oh, let's see here. All right. I guess I, the, there's no really any point to slow rolling it. It's going to be a long, it's gonna be a long yeah. night if we do that yeah. at all. All right, all right. You can slow the first one. Desert of the Mindful. Okay. That's cool. Is that an invocation? No. no. Hey, I got the hoop woo. Yeah. Hey. Moral victory, if nothing else. That right. seems really good. Uh, nope, no. Here we uh. go. Got a foil Bane Whip Punisher. Oh, that thing's okay. so That's good cool. and limited. Invocation Bane Whip uh, Punisher. <laughs> Hour of Eternity is my rare. All right, all right. All right. All right. But well, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Pass. I got the River Hoopoo, though. All right, so pass those over. I so feel we can better put about them in that. The pile. So, as usual, we will go commons. Sort of rarities here, yeah. Uh, uncom Wait, I missed oh, an uncommon there. Uncommon, common, rare. Foil, and then what's the deal? What do you want? Just each with their own pile, too. Yeah, so perfect. And then we'll also have one for full art lands, I guess. Yes. Yeah, yeah. ideally another pile. But all the foils can go here, even foil In lands. Foil, That's yeah. fine, yeah. All right, all foils Thank together. You. All right, let's, uh, let's kick us off. All right. Uh, this card, uh, Adam played with great effect at the pre-pre release. Yeah, and completely crushed people with it. So I'm that was of, fun. I'm sort of uh, amazed that that is a, a common level. I opened a storyline card. Yay. So this card uh, was allu alluded to on, I think, an uncommon artifact in the first Amaket set, and so now you can draft the combo deck. You can go and tutor this up. I think of it's the also pretty powerful. I think of the now. rares, I might win. Yeah, on this that card's one. exciting. I'm an Eternal. This thing's great. I'm bad at uh, afflict, everything. Afflict apparently. is pretty not so crazy. Um, uh, I'm I'd, sorry. I win though. Yeah. Imminent well, doom. Oh uh, yeah. Let's count the number of times doom appears on this card. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
the word doom appears on this card eight, eight times. Really? Cause, yep. Because the imminent doom creates doom, doom counters. counters. Yeah, and yeah. I've got myself a foil thorned Moloch. Yeah. So, is there so is, are, is there any doom counter synergy? Are there other cards that have doom counters? Yeah, I think so. Um, I kind of want like doomsday there, clock. Is that a doom? What kind of counters does? Oh no, there's something else. They're fate counters or whatever. I'm trying to remember what uh, Oblivion Stone puts on creatures. Or I think there's another. Yeah, I think there is something like that. There's some artifact from a really old set that puts doom counters on. I think. Everybody want to feel sad? Yeah. Yes. No. Tragic lesson. Uh, this card is just super downer. <laughs> it's very like, graphic. It's yeah. graphic. The the. The text, the 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 oh, the, 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 the the this part of the the, the uh, where the words are in italicized. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the flavor text. Yeah, that's the, the text word of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I have doom has doom counters. Right. right. Oh, I have doom. I got Oketra's last mercy. Oh, speaking of last sure. things, Bontu's last reckoning. Oh, look at yes. that. I can I I uh, I'm excited. I you know they talked about that there's going to be a new unset. And yeah. uh, something that was like Doom Doomer. <laughs> that was just like add an extra Doom Counter to anything with Doom Counters. <laughs> yeah. Would be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I think Bonte's Last Reckoning is probably the best of that cycle. The green one's pretty good. Go for it. But yeah. I open yeah. Scavenger Grounds, which is like sadly not a good combo with. Um, the Crucible of Worlds, right? Because it's like it sacrifices. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you, you know. Exhaust uh, I got ourselves a Mirage Mirror. I think that thing's going to see so I, much play. I think it's kind of interesting. This is probably the most exciting card so, in the yeah, set, I think. It casts for three, yeah. and it's an artifact. It just sits there. But for two, you can have it become a copy of target artifact, creature, or enchantment, or land until end of turn. So it seems really neat. So can this thing, this thing can Dark Depths, yes? That's right. It can yeah. definitely Dark Depths. It also Time Vaults. So mm -hmm. those are the two sort of most... You know, powerful Damn. things we're eager to do in Canadian Highlander. Yeah. It also just like whenever you're in a mirror up against it, a mirror, right? Like yeah. if your opponent, uh -huh. if, if your opponent is dark depthing or time vaulting, you get to beat them at it. Mm -hmm. um, if you have the mirror, so I really wish exciting. we were playing sealed right there. Oh, my yeah. black pool is Ooh, it's doing pretty good. good. <laughs> this was really good in Two of the Giant, but is it good enough to play in individual sealed? No, sealed? I, I haven't played any sealed yet. So, so yeah. no, but okay. with the, with the amount that if I, if I've got the zombie. Croc and Bonte's Last Reckoning. If what sure. does everybody think of Overcome? I like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. fine. It's two green instead of three green. Yeah, yeah like, it doesn't seem as as back breaking, but I, I've still already lost Ooh. to it. Ooh, How got splendid. a foil overwhelming splendor. Ooh. That, my friends, is a foil. Let's go to the overhead cam. We got ourselves a foil mythic right there. Hell yeah. Ooh. Nice. It is this a is splendiferous kind of, splendor. This is kind of a cool card that I wouldn't be surprised if saw like some amount of sa standard play. Definitely the it's, ETB gain two life saw lots. Yeah, like I mean, it's it's weird because it's like you could play that or you could just play uh, Painted Desert or whatever, which right. basically does the exact same thing, but for any color of mana you want, you just don't get the well, life. Right, right, but the life point is like the thing that you're. Yeah, the, that's the reason to play it over just like a better mana fixing card, right? Like it doesn't doesn't fix mana well, what, but what it does we, gain life. What do we think of the defeat cycle? Uh, I played the the I opened the red one earlier. I was going to show it because I, I I just auto included it in my sealed pool the other day without reading it at all. Apparently. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I drew it and I was just like. Wait, what is this? There's some, <laughs> sort, of, there's some sort of clock for it, right? Okay. Yeah. Am I, did I open our first full art land? Uh, you did. Oh, yeah. there we wow. go. Here, all the way over here. So we, uh, I got ourselves a... Uh, oh my god. Dream Stealer. I hate this card. This card ruined uh, Limited for me for a little, for a couple of things because it ruined your it's a little dreams. impressive if it... That's impressive <laughs> considering the set just came out on Monday. <laughs> yeah, I, I drafted it twice and played one sealed thing and in two of them uh, so you're like, oh, okay. Uh, I play like Blur of Blades, put a minus one, minus one counter on it. You, yeah. And you like, you, so right. now we don't have to worry about it. It can attack, it can do whatever, because you don't want it to go into the graveyard, because right. once that comes back as a 4 4, it's pretty gross. Uh, but then somebody just uses like a neat combo trick on it when coming in, and it's like, oh, it gives it, pl I'll right. use like combo brute trick. strength yeah, on yeah. it, right? Yeah. And then so you now, it's, now land, you discard whatever. three cards. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. What about Hour of Promise? Four and a green sorcery searcher library for up to two lands. Land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Then if you control three or more deserts, create a two or create two 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 black zombie creature tokens. Jesus, this thing does a lot, lot of, of words. Stuff. Yeah. Um, one primeval titan trigger for one less mana. 
Mm -hmm. It's probably gonna get played. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if in standard, but standard desert. You get yeah. two two twos. Like I if don't you know. have the if you so have I mean, the three, two, yeah. So, so it's, it's like two, a Dirkwood board. It's five mana for four power. Yeah. So it's two two twos and two land is basically what you get. Well, yeah. if you're using it proper, if you're I think using, if you're using it, properly, it properly, you don't get the two twos. Because <laughs> like then you're because you're, you're not just trying to get running. busted lands. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. This card was interesting, uh, yeah. and I wanted to poke around with it in yeah. standard a little bit. I, I want you to too. Like, because, yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, there are a lot of um, interesting, uh, like, cycle and discard madness kind of strategies kind of floating around in, in standard. So, being able to replay stuff. I think the biggest thing that people are stoked on is the Stifle Bird. Right. With this thing where you can just sort yeah. of keep really replaying. <laughs> but, yeah, it seems pretty neat. I think I saw somebody had a foil one of these earlier, but yeah, I got a reason, foil one tonight. Actually, reason to believe. Woo! Um, scry three for one blue sorcery. And was the believe? Uh, look at the top card of your library. You may put it onto the battlefield if it's a creature card. If you don't, put it into your hand. It's like this seems fine. Yeah, someone uh, cleverly pointed out in a forum I was reading that's like it, it. I think it was the Highlander forum. So it, it draws a card. It's just that card is always believed. So it's like one blue mana, scry three, draw a card. That sounds right. nuts, right? Yeah. That's yeah. better than preordain. Yeah. It's just like it doesn't really draw a card. It draws believe. Um, but yeah, this this could be a real card. Uh, I opened probably what's going to be the most expensive pack of the evening. So Ooh. the same pack I got. Oh my goodness! Well, Sphinx thing, which yeah. I don't know if matters, but it's a mythic, so it'll be more than people a got excited because potential Sphinx tribal. But I'm just like, no, you kind of want to do all the Esper. There's there's already yeah. like an Esper artifact Sphinx. And then I got the, so. I got a foil of the sweet cat. Yeah. yeah. So you know, foily pride sovereign. That's kind of exactly. you know like banana. <laughs> I I feel like Sphinxes don't usually like hang out together. No, for sure. They're, so they're like a kind solitary of a, crew, right? In yeah. fact, but I, he's a I was actually so we we actually talked about this during the thing that what finding out the you know thinking about what the plural of sphinx is, right? And it occurred to me like is like shouldn't there just not be like there is like the sphinx is just the the, the in real in reality the sphinx is just the statue, right? Yeah. Like, the statue isn't it's, a statue of a pre-existing thing. Like that's they, right. They invented the Sphinx and made this, the, the Sphinx, the statue. Yeah, it's <laughs> unique, right? Like, there, there, are there no, isn't a second Sphinx. Yeah, you, you don't mm -hmm. need a plural, really. Right, okay, what is all you need? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Ra wait, Ramunap? Ramunap Hydra? I think that's how you say it. I Ram think it's cool. Ramunap, uh, maybe? Ra yeah, so three and a green for a 3-3 three, three Vigilance Reach Trample. Gets plus one, plus one as long as you control a desert. Plus one, plus one as long as there are a desert card in your graveyard. Uh, I'm curious to see if you can make the, the desert thing work in limited. Yeah, I think for sure you can make it work in limited. It's yeah. not that hard, and the benefits are, are there for, for limited. So this pack's pretty spicy, actually. Okay. We've got uh, one of my favorite cards from this set uh, that did so much work for me when I was doing Sealed was Chaos Maw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This thing is... Obviously pretty, good. Pretty nuts, though, yeah. Uh, yeah. But then I also got the Full Art Mountain and a Foil Regular. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, my. Nice. All right, all right. So. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I've got, check this out, I have just a strictly worse um, pack than what you just showed us. Nice. I have the Ominous Sphinx. Oh, that thing's great. And that thing's a like limited normal bomb. Pride Software. Right. There you <laughs> yeah. go, yeah, 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 here's the junior version. Yeah. So, I think, I think if this set's gonna like turn our heads, I think I think a lot of people are a little disappointed in this set in general, mm. but, but if it's gonna turn around, I think this might be one of the potential sleepers. It's like, if we can, Find a, a way to make the afflict cards really good. Mm -hmm. You know, like this this card, it, it begs to be built around, right? So I, I don't know that it's good enough. It might just be like a kind of cool limited rare. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. But like it's a red zombie and it lets you cast spells for free. So like those are both interesting things that are going on. It has afflict four. Yeah, like afflict four, four is, is pretty. Yeah, yeah. Right? And like it has four toughness. But so, at, at the same time, it's kind of just like something like that comes at you and just go, I let you through because it's got one power. Yeah, but then hopefully you're just casting an expensive yeah. burn spell at their face, I guess, right? Yeah. But like it seems tough to build around and it's maybe just not that good, right? Like it's it, it's clearly a question. I don't have the answer to it, but speaking of cards, it's, like it's an of, interesting card. Yeah, I agree. Speaking yeah. of cards that are super interesting from this set, 
Okay. Crucible of Worlds with legs. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of the kind of marquee cards of the set, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And they made, they made a foil of it for something game day or something coming up. Uh, yeah. I, sure I, saw it, I saw it today. There's I an alt art for it. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah, no, I think this card is Ooh. pretty real. I might, I think it might see play. I couldn't take my eyes off this. Oh, I got the, I got the mythic horse token. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't take my eyes off a foil one of these pre release. Saw a couple yeah. of them actually. It's a really pretty foil. Also, this is like a better safe haven. It's yeah, safe haven. it's like this cool old card yeah. we played as kids and like was never very good. <laughs> yeah, but it's... was cool and flavorful or whatever. And now they made like a kind of half decent one. Is it specifically cards exiled with? That yeah. card, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Creature cards. <gasps> I did it. What we did it. What? We're there. Oh, hey, masterpieces. That's we, awesome. Good we've got you. our first masterpiece. It's Thoughtseize, which oh. mm, I kind of like want. This top, top three, Ooh. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well oh. done. Overhead. We did it. Unfortunately, we don't do holds on new cards before release day, Ben. Yes. Sorry, bud. That's fair. But, but you I'm sure that. you'll be able to get one at some point, even if it's not that. Beer, one. beer, beer. That's a great beer. one too. If you're curious, we open at 10 a.m. on yeah. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> um, 649 Johnson Street in Victoria, B.C. Uh, there should be a sleeve around here somewhere. Mom, get the sleeve! Where, are there sleeves behind you there, Ben? Actually, I've got one. Oh, up on top of the anthology box. Oh, you got some? I got, I got all right, one. All right, all right, all right. I can sleeve you up. Do, 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 just unsleeve some bad card from this deck. Woo! There you go. There, you there go. we go. Yeah. I unsleeved Island. Okay, good card. All right. So that goes in there. Yeah. And the maybe, rare. Maybe just you might want to just put that in there. Or I think it's for the best because the, 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 the rare for this is kind of meh. So we got leave to chance. Yeah, whatever. This thing is the. I <laughs> don't play it. Oh, was I right? I think I was right about what who's on the pack. Oh yeah, that totally is. Yeah, also, okay, I yeah. love this card. I think this is my favorite card from the set. Limited. All star. Oh yeah, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I cannot wait to play this in. For sure. Yeah, it's gonna get killed right away. <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna get. I'm gonna kill it right away <laughs> yeah. when you play it. In That's limited. fine. Yeah. For as sure. long as it removes something. Lightning rod. <laughs> right. Waiting on you here. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been it's talking too much about Yeesh. things. Okay. And here's a question. Land. We gotta check oh, yeah. this out as well. Okay. So we have. Um, oh right, right. The distribution was all totally uh, you, even last time. Yeah, we had like right? almost exactly nine yeah, every like nine box, and like almost never a three of. And I think we oh, are yeah, trying to do it. All we are. We are. Wow. Yeah. So in that one, we got ten full arts, two of each. Yeah. That's pretty good. They must be controlling yeah. it. This and can't be random. They oh, must be doing sorry. Oh, Eleven. Okay, no. Maybe Let's see. Do I ruin it even more? I don't know if you could ruin He it does! Anymore. Oh, you are just the worst. Although that's Ooh. more. With an like, hour of glory. That's that's Wait. twelve. Twelve is more than ten. Yeah. More, more than, than nine. Hold I up. Believe. <laughs> <laughs> C -c -c Combo. Yeah. Um, right. Then we got that blown. foil, Crypt of Eternals, and Kefnit's last word. All the one's a cool card. Yeah, that goes into the the cycling -y deck. Maybe I guess like does the cycling -y deck one? There's got to be some sort of like aggro cycling deck because it it's a four four. That's all you get out of it, right? Mm -hmm. um, so like it needs to it can go in affinity. It's like a new or a mer enforcer. Yeah, yeah. But cycling affinity. All right, Rares. there we go. Rares. Box Rares. one done. Invocation. No, We're one for one. Oops. This is that. Oops. All right. Uh, really quickly, show you guys Sorry, the Dad. our glory. Captain Slot's word. Where's your hoopo? <laughs> Angel of condemnation. Oh shit! Yeah, we forgot and to look things. at the Rona's face for hour of glory. I think we got two of these. Uh, hour of revelation. Sure. Uh huh. We got the mirror. I think we might have picked up some more of these. It's, so this is a small set, so we're gonna see a lot of cards um, repeat. Repeat. So uh, it might be a little bit of a shorter one tonight. Uh, Scavenger grounds. The demon. The big scary demon. God's pharaoh. Sure. Uh, leave to chance. There's the other eternal. Uh, we got two of these boys. Look at that. Nice. Uh, we've got a pride sovereign. We we picked up a foil one as well. We've got a solves a chaos maw. Uh, we've got the Hydra, and I'm pretty sure there's another one of these somewhere in here. We've got the Overwhelming Splendor. We picked up a foil one of these. We've got ourselves an Hour of Devastation. Uh, we got Unesh. We've got the Reason to Believe, and I believe we have a foil one of those. Mm -hmm. Maybe our Sarcophagus. <laughs> Hour of Promise. Dream Stealer. Driven to Despair. 
Torment of Hailfire. There's another Mirror. Bonsu's Last Reckoning. Uh, Oketra's Last Mercy. Imminent Doom. Doom! The Eternal and the Hour of Eternity. Pick it up. So, we, be jerks. Mm-hmm. you were saying with that abandoned sarcophagus, there's this new cycling bird. And you can just can you just play it over and over again? It's like when it enters the battlefield, it counters a triggered ability, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that yeah, one? a triggered ability or a or a spell. I think it might just be the triggered ability. It's okay, okay. Um, you but you need to like bounce itself to replay it, wouldn't you, or or something? Um, carpet cycling would be put into uh, your graveyard from anywhere it wasn't cycled. Exile it instead. So yeah, you would need to bounce it back and to to replay it and stuff like that. So, I don't know if, but I mean, realistically, being able to do it twice, I guess, is yeah fairly worth it, I guess. Yeah. I definitely think that that sarcophagus is a cool build around mm-hmm. card. That, yeah, I'd like to see if it is a real deck. Yeah. Um, one of the enchantments that I really want to build around that isn't the mill enchantment is, um, yeah. is it the, it's not Nest of All Scarabs, right. but it's the something of Scarab, Tomb of Scarabs. Right. Do we want to give Paul a pack for one, one box? per box? Sure. Yeah. sure. Paul? Yeah. Row okay. one, two, three, and how many down? Are we gonna let him pick every time? Yeah. All right. We gotta give him the you gotta give him that illusion sort of, of choice. Yeah, exactly. The illusion of choice. One yeah. blue. Choose how everyone votes, draw a card. hmm Uh let's see. He's thinking. <laughs> Do the one at least, at least put think. the camera on He's you. He's got a big glittery turn <laughs> yeah, like, on back there. He's holding the envelope now. up. <laughs> I'm head. trying to think. <laughs> All right. This is this is like you know in prices right where it's like oh what should I do and then everyone in the audience is like it, yeah, 10, yeah 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 we're we're seventeen. All right, we're the, we're the audience. Ben, say a number. Okay. Uh, seven. No, two. One to two, three. One to three. Oh, one, <laughs> two. Three. <laughs> you guys are useless yeah, as the audience. Yeah, Can we each say one number? Right. Okay. Second second okay. row. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna go I went four down before. Yep. I'm gonna go two down now. Okay. okay. Here it is. Oh you got that scarab god. It's opening packs. Oh the scarab god, nice. It's pretty. I mean, the invocation's already been opened, so I don't know. <laughs> the one, the one from the. Oh, we didn't mention that. We got a full thought season. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Full yeah. thought season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. By the way, guys, just really quickly, you'll notice the sub counter at the top. Wow. Good yeah. God, it's almost a 200 for the day. That's awesome. We will thank subs and resubs and bits uh, at the end of the show. <laughs> Gotta love watching as play fast days. as possible. Watch nope. play dates. No go. Did right. get another hour of return. Uh, Eternally opening. Right. I'm so shit sorry. Cards for us. That Paul. that. Uh, Afraid not. That may be the dirt dirtiest dirt rare. In oh, the right. There's a lot of competition. Yeah. I feel like Chaos Maw is a cool card, but it feels like an uncommon to me. Didn't even like, uh, maybe you know, it's a little kind of vanilla. Right? Well, that's the thing is here. Oh, here you go. Um, playing, I had Chaos Maw out, and then to have the opponent next turn play the. Uh, that green worm, the the stif- or sifting worm, okay. which is like a seven seven with trample that also gains light, like gain, right. does like the. So I'm just like, oh okay, yeah. So, yeah. It's not the scariest right. card. Uh, yeah, kick your favorite one I'm, I'm kicking this off with my favorite card. I think that's set. probably your first pick. It might be one of the highest pick. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be one of the highest picks of the, the yeah. whole set. Uh, Paul, mm-hmm. the card is not that card of mission. There, there we go. Uh, the angel card. of condemnation. If you if you didn't read it, uh, two white white for three three flying vigilance angel. For two and a white, tap, exile another target creature, return that card to the battlefield under its control uh, at the beginning of the next end step so you can flicker something. And then for two and a white, tap and exert it, you can exile another target creature until. So you can flicker one of your own creatures. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah with sorry. the first ability, you can it can target itself. So yeah. it, as soon as that loses summoning sickness, it can just attack for three with vigilance and just like hold itself alive. But if it needs to, it can no, no, kill no, no, no. one of your opponents. It can't, first, right? it can't target itself. Doesn't it say? Oh, oh, it is another. Yeah. Oh, it is another. So is there both can, another? Okay, it can right. flicker or it can exile. All All right. Right. Either way, this card's Also, uh, 200 right. subs! Hey! Yay! Let's go for 300. Um, one of the cards I'm most James excited is about. never happy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Scary try. Kitty. Yeah. Scary Kitty seems okay. I think Scary Kitty's I, great. I know, it's probably great. It's we didn't just... lose our shit over Fencing Ace. Uh, yeah. And, and the kind of deck that will usually make good use of double strike creatures doesn't care about five mana spells. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it's tempting to really get on board with this card that's like not that much better than Fencing Ace. It's better than Fencing Ace. It has cooler art. It's a cat. 
Um, the synergy. And like it, maybe there'll be some mid-range deck that does want to just grind through the dead cats and bring back zombie Cry. cats. Have know? we talked about... We haven't, we haven't talked about this one yet. Hostile yeah. Desert. Yeah, that card's really cool. This what, card seems kind of neat. So it's a, it's a desert. Add one uh, generic to your mana pool. Two, exile a land card from your graveyard. Hostile Desert becomes a 3-4 elemental creature until end of turn. It's still a land. I love um, uh, lands that turn into to, to peoples. Uh, they're my favorites. Um, I don't really like this one, though. It's kind of. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't come in tapped. That's it's, yeah. Really it a, doesn't. It, usually, if your land turns into a, a guy, um, it requires that you miss a point of mana. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's like this doesn't do that. It doesn't you. punish you, which is true. Exactly. And, it's, and it's, it's the nice. cheapest thing to become a man land. Yeah. Really. What do you got? I opened Grind to Dust, and I think it's going to be okay and limited, but it's probably not a first pick. Mm. Um, I don't know if it's going to have much standard application. It's just really expensive removal. And now it can kill a lot of creatures, so if there is a heavy minus one, minus one counters on my own creatures deck, mm -hmm. this is going to be pretty amazing against that. Mm -hmm. um, or you can like set up for long game, but you need to like have defenses to not get attacked by all these creatures if you're trying to like go put a minus one, minus one on your guy, then next turn put two minus one on your guys, then the, the third turn put more minus one, minus ones, assuming that you have yeah. enough creatures so that I get a huge blowout with yeah. this. But, I mean, I think, I, that's, know. I think that's been the fun shift. One of the things that I've been sort of commenting on in general for, like, the sets as they come out is uh, Wizards has done a thing where they kind of, like, have, a, have a, uh, a cool mechanic happen, and then in the smaller set they sort of don't really utilize it as much. And, like, mm -hmm. with, like, Investigate, it kind of makes sense because, like, in Eldritch Moon, it's like, we already we, we don't need to investigate anymore. We know it's Emrakul. Kind of <laughs> yeah. Thing, right? um, but then... Still investigating. They didn't, they didn't do, like, a ton of stuff with energy and whatnot in, like, Aether Revolt or Meld, I think was, like, probably the best example right. of things. There's that only three cards, much. yeah. Um, but uh, I like that in Amonkhet and to our devastation, they're like, we're keeping the minus one, minus one counters, but now everything's a fight, so instead of putting that stuff on your own as much, we're kind of putting the minus ones on your opponent's creatures kind of a little bit more yeah. in this set, which right. has kind of been fun. Um, I got a Fraying Sanity. That's the card that made me most excited about this set. That's the card yeah. that, that real that really messed up that episode of Friday Nights. So yeah, yeah. Um, the, it, we we did a really <laughs> silly meta joke where oh, okay. we we saw Fraying Sanity and then things went all wacky and we got oh, stuck in a dimension. It. And yeah, 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 It was awesome. it was awesome. it was very silly. And then I also got a foil Kindled. Theory. Oh damn! So reprint. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Solid combat trick through the ages. Been lots of sets and only costs one red and it can kill any size creature. Yeah, I really like the, the same size creature. In the combat. foiling on this is really cool. I like any sort of foiling they do when someone's wearing like really cool looking armor. It's a good looking foil. You guys can't tell at home, but yeah. it's a good looking foil. It's, it's, it looks real good. <laughs> Sir, I just opened a foil. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, no, exactly. It's been okay. Wait, Why yeah. is he frothing what? at the mouth? Then, I've opened another Frank <laughs> Yeah, exactly. These packs are just, just entirely Frank Sanities. Yeah. Well, I opened a foil Desert of the Indomitable. You sure did. They should have. They should do one of those. Mm -hmm. Just well, they some... did the Pantheon packs. Did you hear about that? No. So in Ther or not Theros, Journey into Nyx, one in. 800 packs yeah. or something like that. Yeah. It was just all, all of the, the gods. gods. So imagine like yeah. some kid buying their first booster pack ever. They're just like, huh, this is a weird set. <laughs> <laughs> just like going Why through. It's like the <laughs> expansion symbols are different. You know? yeah. <laughs> imagine like in a draft or something. That wouldn't even be that good. It would be weird. <laughs> the draft stories mostly involve the judge letting the person keep the so, pack and then they, they just one. get a new one. Yeah. Speaking of the dirtiest of dirt rares, this card's. Neat. Hazard's Undying Fury is four red, red for a sorcery. Shuffle your library, then exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non land cards with converted mana cost five or less from them among them without paying their mana cost. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. It's like yeah. mine's desire to be fair? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the joke is here. There's yeah. so yeah. many words on that, though. Um, I mean, maybe you can make it work in Constructed, but do not play this. Doomsday into all your bomb creatures. Oh, shit. Is it. Can it do any spells? Yeah, you may cast any number non -land, non land cards. cards yeah. So here's what I'm kind of curious about right now. Huh. I've opened six packs and I've opened six Ooh. full arts. I have not opened a single one, so apparently you got like, I the got, stack I of got it. I got the stack yeah. of full arts. That's kind of um, Actually, card I was most excited about for reprints was just Unsummon. Yeah, I just great. I just love Unsummon. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had one mana bounce spells. Oh, wow. So what do you got? I opened Kenra Scrapper and mm. uh, I object. Uh -huh. yeah. This guy has no artifact synergy. 
He doesn't appear to be wearing anything that used to be a car. He doesn't have a hammer in his hand or anything like doing. that. Well, get yeah. it? Because it's because scrap also. Well, or, there's a lot of scrappers in Magic, and they, yeah, they yeah. do that. You know, All right. they've got something going on. Crested <laughs> Sun Mare, three white white for a mythic horse. Five five. Other horses you control have indestructible, and at the beginning of each end step, if you gain a life this turn, create a five five white horse creature token. Horse Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. Guys, hold on. I just figured yeah. it out. It just means he's scrappy. Oh, oh that makes more sense. It. But it's not fair. Wizards it's spelled the same and everything. Yeah. And <laughs> they usually have like a shovel in their hand. What, like it, a will, will this get? Will least. this see play anywhere? Other than, yes. Yeah. 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 Lots of kitchen table games and draft too. Yeah, but bit. not standard or anything. Nobody's going to make a stand. What about? They're the, going to need to give us more tools. If they want us to play standard tribal horses. Horses. Yeah. Is there even that many horse? Like, can you play even commander horses? Like, is there a horse? <laughs> Maybe you can now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tarpan, you're finally in. Yeah. 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 Centaurs should count as horses. I opened the they should be. They sh hey! That's one of the ones I need. The Centaurs should be horse humans. Yeah, I like it. So like of it. the three gods, I think this is our my my personal second favorite? Probably okay. second to the personal second, personal second to the locust god because yes. the locust god's just absurd. The locust god's an ex exciting spell. Three yeah, black, sure. red for a six-five. Whenever a creature with a minus one minus one counter on it dies, draw a card. This is basically. It, it's really just um, a skull clamp. It's basically what yeah, this card is. The idea yeah. is, is it's, it's five mana. It's five mana skull clamp skull that attacks. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It seems mm -hmm. And costs more mana to activate. <laughs> yeah. I really, I really like this god cycle. I mean, specifically because like I'm building, working on a uh, Pantheon EDH deck, of oh, just cool. like all the gods now. Um, but I like that these ones, you don't really have to do any sort of things to make sure. them attack or do anything. They're just like, yeah, I were a creature that do things, you weird. know? They're just creatures. Yeah. Then all the other gods have a drawback where they're not a creature. Yeah. Kind of. So Earthshaker is one and a red for a these two one. These gods are cheating. Yeah. 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 So this is a haste. When it enters a battlefield, target creature with power uh, less than or equal to Earthshaker power can't block this turn. And has eternalized for four red red. Uh, this card seems good. In limited. Again, but that's about it. So uh, could, no, it's a, I mean it's a two two haste for or two one haste two for one two, haste, two one, with yeah. two other abilities. No, I could definitely see this card getting into an aggressive red deck. All right, um, but it's going to be a role player, not a like no, reason yeah. that that deck exists. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's not Goblin Guide, but it it would get in. You know, I'm now uh, eight for eight on full art lands. Wow. By the way, okay, wow. yeah, I think you got them all. Do it. Chet, uh, it's so weird. Uh, Someone in chat is saying that the scare had the scarab god at the pre-release and uh, was totally crazy. I yeah, think, the yeah. scarab god I think is great too. In a for, both, in a, sorry, go ahead. Both yeah. the blue ones I think kind of do more stuff than the scorpion god. Scorpion god is great at just like attacking and like making your opponent's creatures die mm -hmm. and attacking, but then both the blue ones like they attack the game at another angle, right? Yeah, I, I think in a format where it's like so creature heavy and stuff like that, you're always going to be able to hit fun yeah. things and stuff. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, we did it. The big bad. Yeah. Nikki B. Nikki B. GP. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Nikki my B, God. G we did. Yeah, so yeah there we go. Nickname. So many letters. It's just, his nickname is NBGP. <laughs> yeah. His nickname is just an acronym. Yeah. Hi, I'm here Nikki to see B. Dr. Bolas, General Protect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This card is cool and expensive, and uh, I don't want to play yeah. against it, but. Nico Bolas, GP. God, the art on, yeah. this, the art on this card is so bum, good. Bum, bum, mm -hmm. bum, Sorry, Law and Order theme song comes yeah. to mind for some reason. Bum, bum, Wait, no, no. This season the, on Fox. Yeah, 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 we should have the Doogie, Doogie Hauser theme. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, I, I've been building up a little bit of a stack here that I wanted to talk about. First off, a uh, card that I think is going right into Highlander that Alex and I were talking about was the Bloodwater Entity. Ooh, yeah. Um, if you have Time Walk in your deck, this card's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm running this exact deck. I'm running uh, Blue Red Counterburn right now in Highlander. Okay. Uh, so he goes right into there. Um, other things that I wanted to talk about is uh, I really like this green um, mm. kind of. It's like, it's like Tail Swipe, but now a little bit better. Way cooler name yeah. than Tail Swipe. Yeah, yeah, and the art is really neat too. Look at this Crocodile <laughs> Dundee motherfucker. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, and then the last one uh, I was kind of interested in is like, because I feel like Feed the Clan did mm. stuff. I yeah. want, I'm kind of curious to see if Life Goes On kind of makes it into the sideboard against some of the, like, the crazy aggro strategies that are going on. But We haven't talked about Modern yet, but it definitely seems like R&D was like, nah, not so much burn. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a little bit, eh? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's burn let's, let's next year. Let's stop that. Let's burn next year. Hey, Paul, mm -hmm. the pack that you opened, was there a full art in there? 
I was it the Fuller don't, Mountain? Don't know, maybe I don't know. I don't remember because every they're all in one row. They're all just my, in the middle row. Yeah, every huh. single. Well, we hit one we, of us. Hit, one of us hit which, one. No, which I think that's from Paul's. Paul's? Pack. Oh, Man. maybe. Yeah, maybe. So the entire middle row was Fuller Lands. That's so weird. So you guys uh, remember when they printed? Uh, yeah, I fit. I fit nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, I think it's all you. That's so weird. Remember when they printed the Constrictor and didn't realize how bonkers it was going to be? So they printed Solimity. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, uh, which constructor are we talking about? Yeah, the, oh, the, 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 the green, green, the green Golgari one. Thing? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't think it's that specifically for bonkers. that. Yeah, yeah. But um, maybe sh shuts that deck down a bit. But this is like the other mirror, though. It has so many combos, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Also works with dark depths. Um, oh shit! Yeah, true. Right. Or lands. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think this card's gonna see play. I have a couple cards to talk about. Yep. Mm -hmm. This one, I think, it's like really interesting question of whether or not it'll. Stand the test of time in Highlander. It's possible we'll keep playing it in Highlander. People are going to try it. I think it's a little, you know, under the curve. Like it's not, you know. Like, uh, it seems it seems like you. There's already like four or five counters yeah. that you're going to put in ahead when, of this. When you're playing three mana counters, they need to be better than mana. Well, I, I mean, but does it make it better that you also have what's the card that does this? Impulse. Impulse. Does, yeah. it, does it help that you have impulse stacked onto this? Well, usually, if, like, two is the most you want to be spending on this kind of effect. Also, right. I mean, it's impulse is, like, one of the best ones. Like, impulse is, might be the only two-mana um, selection spell you play if yeah. you're playing selection spells. But that doesn't necessarily and, mean that you'll play a three-mana. And mana right? leak was one and a blue, right? Yeah, they both, so it's you, two so cards each cost one and a blue. Yeah, and so you're, you're paying the extra action. one colorless for... I think it'll definitely see play in standard if there's like a half-decent control deck. Mm -hmm. like yeah, I think oh yeah. Maybe just one or two of it, like they might be playing more of the other ones. Is it, what, is it con or uncommon? Okay. It's uncommon. And then I also opened the same pack, this card, which I think is pretty exciting. I think it's, I know it, Alex was excited for this card in Highlander. Between, yeah, yeah, I between think this, card this and Bontus, sure. I think those are the best two of the last stand. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, I think the white one might be okay. The blue uh, one's just control magic, right? Yeah, like, yeah, and then okay. the, the red one is, yeah, the, the big thing. But uh, yeah. the two, that one's pretty great. I think it's pretty great. Um, here's the card I wish was a little bit cheaper. <laughs> so, I don't even know what this card does. Swarm Intelligence is six and a blue for an enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. What would you want this to cost? Like, oh yeah, this is cool. Let's maybe like enchantment. Though. What's uh, one uh, less even? Like seven mana is so steep for counter burn. Like I, I, if I'm sitting on like four or five land, I'm happy. I guess yeah. they've officially moved forking into uh, blue now, eh? Yeah. I think it's in both. Forking? Is it, isn't it still, doesn't it, oh, does it show up well, in any There's like Pyromancer Ascension and stuff too, right? It's, so, it's I guess, Dual Caster Mage isn't the standard card. It's finding the balance yeah. where it's like playable, but not busted. So like even like five mana, I think this would be okay. Somebody's, somebody's suggesting two you, do you. Mm. So five, but three you. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Go like fork yourself. <laughs> uh, and then I got this baby. Nice. Oh, Boil, Boil Island. Island. You can get those for going to uh, Magic Open House. Oh, okay. Yeah, which was a couple weekends ago. So you yeah. can't get them in the future, but Open House. I, I found out after the Open House happened that we had these to give out. So um, check Ma out Magic Open Houses in the future. It looks like they're supported with cool prizes. Uh, Ma Matt in our pre-release was very excited about the about the that island. Yeah. Because yeah. it was the only island that looked like a mountain. <laughs> and he likes mountains. Um, so here's nice. one of the cards that I really so wanted pretty... to build a deck around. Tarmin of Scarabs. In standard? Oh, okay, you found it. Good. Yes. Yeah. So it's a three mana and a black for an enchantment curse enchant player. At the beginning of enchantment player's upkeep, that player loses three life unless he or she discard or sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. So you kind of just basically bog them down to the point where they'll either have nothing. They like if they're if they're at the point where they're like I can't sacrifice anything or discard anything, then you're in like a good state. So yeah, maybe maybe so, like a, a yeah style yeah background. kind of kind of thing. Like and there's a lot of cards like this that are you know either they discard and they discard or sacrifice something or they take another three life kind of thing. So one more yeah. pack. I I feel like Ben's in got general I got dose the the decision those decision cards. Work out to be not as good as you think they're going to be, right? Yeah. Oh, if your absolutely. Opponent's making the decisions. Like it always. But I mean, it always seems it's like, oh man, it's going to be great because right. he's got no, you know, there's no good 
way out. But then it's like, well, it turns out they're actually sometimes just Here's the thing, though. Not a, I th- I th- an okay way out. Yeah. That's what a lot of people, I think, said about, like, Fevered Visions. Hmm. And I think that card actually sees, like, a decent amount of play in both uh, Modern and it was one of my favorite decks to run in Standard. And then we also got the, uh, the Cycle Oh, there burn. we go. Yeah, yeah that's one of the better cards from the set, too. Mm-hmm. So, like, this one and the Crucible of Worlds guy, I think, are both just, like, obviously solid. Like, they appear pushed compared to the rest, to the rest of the set. Yeah. Um, so... What's this? Be unsurprised to see uh, this card floating around in well, some surprise? modern decks. Maybe. A little bit. Oh man, did you open like? Can you put one? this in Grixis Delver? I don't know maybe. if you need to. Did you need a drink? Uh, what? Are you thirsty? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's uh. What? Not a super exciting card. No, it's just not. I just wanted to make a thirsty joke. joke. Yeah. I, wanna, I mean, I am now. If I just give you ten cents, can I rip that up and? <laughs> you don't have to bed. give me ten cents. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I hadn't actually seen this card. Uh, He's got 10 cent store credit I can use. <laughs> Good point. That's right. Uh, resi- the resilient Kenra. Uh, one and a green for a 2 2. I'm in. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is. Oh, wow. okay. Oh. It's power. So when it comes in, you can give plus 2 plus 2 to something. And when you eternalize it, you can give plus 4. Plus 4 to something. That seems kind of That neat. seems pretty good. Yeah. So this guy and the red guy that's also 2 mana. Maybe you could just put them in a deck with all the best Eternalized cards, and you play those zombies, t- Balmer's tools from the first set to yeah. like make your Eternalized costs that cheaper. Could be, that could be mm. Does this sound like a deck? Yeah. Also, right. I opened They're... another weird Yay. flip card. Hey. Mono, Who knows if this mono is a card? red zombies. Who knows if this is a red card or this is a real card? I don't yeah. know. These are flicked, flicked cards. This one and the guy that casts free spells. They both know. have weird abilities, right? I don't right? know about a flick man. Well, I don't, it, I don't, I don't like it. That, so that one that you were just looking at, the, that green guy. Green, yeah. green Eternalized guy. Yeah. Um, is there, there isn't a, a a point there where you could instant speed buff them before that happens, right? I think so, no. Is there? Like, you can... ability, target creature, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you just trigger on the stack, giant growth him, that's fine. It, so, the, and the giant growth hits before yep. his... Yeah, before okay, his, I his thought giant it was, growth hits, yeah. I thought I thought it was because it was when he comes into play. Yeah, it it's not intuitive, but it works. Okay. Also, if you have, like, Glorious Anthem... Right, yeah, like any, 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 way to any persistent power. effects, yeah. yeah. Going over the pack here. Here we go. We didn't get a thought seize this time. No. No. I'm pretty sure if you open a box and there's a thought seize in it for this set, you're gonna be happy. Yeah. Yep. Is it I, I feel like the like the Scorpion God, the Scarab God, the Locust God, you know, they're coming back and I feel like everyone is going like, so what wh- why were we so mad at Nickel Bulls for getting rid of these guys? Like <laughs> they're they're not Good. I mean, they're good cards, but they're yeah, scary. Yeah. Scary, yeah. <laughs> scary folks. Like, um, why did we want the Locust God back? <laughs> well, why, sort of, why did we? Like, I don't. I haven't read the the lore, but uh, to me, they definitely scream like these were like like. So you have like the Theros gods, and then you've got like the Amonkhet gods, who are all like actual real gods because they have this like drawback flavor to them sort of mm-hmm. thing like devotion or some sort of special thing and these kind of feel like these uh, weird like creations that Nicol Bolas made that are like wannabe right. gods in a way well I think the I'm not sure I haven't read the lore either. I don't know the lore either I think the lore though like I, Allison was explaining something to me and it was something like Nicol Bolas comes back and then brings these gods back and they were the gods that were like always on Amon Ket before I get those mm-hmm. But they um, used to be way better. Well, but they are used to not be other gods and planeswalkers and and Nicol Bolas and stuff. So like they used to be in charge. Um, maybe they used to be nice people. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think it really matters. To the <laughs> they were current, good. They the were good guys up until Bolas came. Uh, and occupants of Amon Ket. So, Nicol Bolas is just killing all of them anyway. You see, the Scorpion God was a god of peace. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. The Locust God was the god of nice. Good to, farm. To scorpions, he was great. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you tithe the locust god or your crops won't. Uh, oh, row mm, one, two, or three. Grow. Uh, all right. How Say, about row second, one? Uh, third, yeah. or. Uh, let's, let's just go again. Let's go, let's go second row, yeah. second mm-hmm. thing. Okay. okay. Here. All right. Uh, Chat is let's... confirming that the pantheon here was eight gods and they were cool. They were actually good guys until mm. Bulls corrupted those three specifically. Oh, I see. And then the rest of the what about and then and the ones that show up in Amonkhet are new gods that he created. No, they're they're part of the original. Are they the same gods? Oh, are they? they? Yeah. Oh yeah, he just like wiped all their memories or something. Yeah, right? yeah. I remember uh, having something else to explain. Hey, we get the same. Uh, I mean, as good as gods can be. It's the angel combination. Angel? Yeah, right. Yeah, same color. If you get uh, that uh, 
the blue spell again. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. Come on, damn it. The hour, of, hour of what? Or freeing sanity. Is that the yeah. one you meant? No. <laughs> yeah, the uh, hour of eternity? The zombies one. Right, yeah. right, right. This is actually the same front as the, the first pack I opened. There you go. Print runs. What do we got? What do we got? We got, uh, we got an ominous sphinx. And we got leave to chance. All right. Yeah, it's okay. not so good. I'm sorry, Paul. We're just tarnishing your record. Sorry, you folks. Yeah. You should have yeah. retired champion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You should have quit back while you were you ahead. Oh, well. He opened that one, one pack and I had a one-to-one one chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, I have... I've opened both. Uh, I did that, that, and then... I remember when uh, when Modern Masters was big, I opened a Tarmogoy. Nice. Was, I felt pretty good Out about one that. one pack, yeah. Sweet. Okay. Um, I don't know if we've talked about this one yet. Refuse to cooperate. It's my mantra. <sighs> Seems, yeah. That's, uh, that, they gave that one to the professor. No, oh, did to, they? Yeah, to That's spoil. Awesome. It's, uh, so deals damage to target equal to that spell's converted mana cost. Uh, Aftermath, uh, copy uh, target instant or sorcery spell. So it's like, you're not really stopping anything. You're just sort of piggybacking on somebody's spell, <laughs> essentially. I'm not saying I'm confirmed, but it's happening again. Oh, no. Two full art wow. in the first two middle row. So, so, I, so I guess. Maybe ask for that middle row. Box, <laughs> yeah, box mapping the full art lands. Yeah. Ain't too tricky, I, apparently. I feel like refuse should be a counter. Okay. It seems right? weird yeah. that it's not. Oh, it stopped. Was it just luck? It was just the first two. I, yeah, I guess Maybe. it was just the first two there. So. Ooh. Wow. All right. All these cards I sure have opened before. I mean, this one we've already done, but we got a foil Kenra Eternal. Nice. nice. Mm -hmm. Um, let's open the one here. I got some cards to talk about. Yeah, yeah. This one is cool. Uh, you're gonna see it a bunch in Commander, and probably a little bit in Highlander. It's you have to pay mana to untap the land, which means that you're not usually generating mana unless you have a land that makes more mana. But if you do have like you know, Cradle and Nykthos in play. It makes a lot of mana, yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, like if you can insert and untap both of them. So mm -hmm. that's where you're living the, yeah. the, yeah. tooth, the tooth and nail into Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and, ma and maybe doing three. it really fast. So like, somewhat relevant. Mm -hmm. um, it also, it's worth noting that just like on turn three, his exert does make at least one mana. So like, even as like a kind of sad mana bear, like you know, he he does do something. Um, strategic right. planning. Sad mana bear. Sad <laughs> mana bear. Um, strategic planning reprinted a common in a real set. This is a big deal, um, mm -hmm. just for anyone who likes to play all their options for um, card selection spells in older formats when they can, because um, strategic planning had gone down from like fifty bucks from Portal Three Kingdoms to like two bucks or something to now only twenty five cents. Uh, it was it was reprinted in Commander. I, do we? I don't like the art. No, the art's hilariously bad. It's, it's, it's just like it, it's let's just have a conversation. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this is how people talk. That's right. It kind of feels like they were like they, this is actually them setting up for a it's, painting, yeah. and like they're just like, oh guys, can you get a little bit closer? But they both hate each other, and they're just like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's Jace is going, okay, what 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 we're gonna do? Yeah. I'll kneel down behind him, <laughs> and then you push him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Matt Stewart has like a lot of other good credits, right? I'm not like, saying it's good I'm art. not saying it's bad well, art. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying I don't it's really. Very it just looks like it was drawn by committee or something, right? Like it's like these poses are so awkward. It seems like they had to take a few. Like and the and the horns are in the background. Like you know, it's all framed up. So I don't know. Okay, last. Uh, let's talk about your card first. It's more so, exciting. Yeah, Obelisk Spider. Um, I know a, a big a big deck that uh, in limited. I guess I'm talking a mm -hmm. big deck people really liked in the last format. It was just yeah. pure Omicat with the black green minus one minus one. And boy, does this. This boy find a home there. Yeah, the Decimator mm -hmm. Beetle deck. Um, when it deals combat damage to a creature, put a minus one, minus one counter on that creature. Or whenever you put one or more minus one, minus one counters on a creature, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Like, it just turns, like, all of those all those cards that distribute minus one, minus one counters into drain. It's just like, God, it's so good. It's weird because it's like, it feels like the, the minus one, minus one counter thing is, like, very jund in this. Yeah. Set, which is like... And minus one, minus like uh, the the creature. Some of them are are weaker than a normal Jun creature would be because of this whole minus one, minus one. Yeah, it just thing, makes right? cards it's, like it's very strange. It's like splendid agony, right? Just like how much better does that card get with the spider out on the board? It's yeah. just like okay, I kill your guy, you take two, I gain two, 
and things are looking good. <laughs> yeah, I like that spider quite a lot. It's also just a 1-4 for 3, you know? Decent stats with Yeah, reach. exactly. Big fan of spiders. Okay, Seer of the Last Tomorrow. You're going to see this guy win some limited games. You have to discard cards, but there are some cards in this set, like if you're in blue-black, if you're otherwise in like the blue-black cycling deck. Um, you know, Drake Haven. Uh, even just Horror of the Broken Lands, any, any way you can get bonuses from discarding cards. It's like discarding cards is sort of a spell-like effect in this set. Mm -hmm. And then uh, three cards repeatable is like a That's, pretty yeah. fast clock and limited. Yeah. There's a similar guy that was a four mana one four from Ravnica, and then he got reprinted I in one of the that. core sets. Yeah. And he was just blue tap. They they mill two, and that guy was a perfectly good. Um, Mill clock. Yep. Just keep him alive and don't die. Weird. And this guy is like a few turns faster. Yep. So here we go. Lightning bolt. Also lightning bolt. It's, I just wanted to show the art off on this one. It's pretty it's great. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good looking cool. fling thing. Yeah. What do you got? I just, no. I just opened Liliana's defeat and Chandra's defeat right side by side oh, in nice. the pack together. I've, I've had Jace's defeat and uh, Nissa's defeat. I think next. All to right. Each other I got much. a big scary guy. Woo! Gideon's, Gideon's this guy's great. Arasakath. The foul boy blooded. The foul boy. The foul boy. The foul boy. Five black, I call black, foul. black, black, eight, eight. <laughs> All right, so he's basically. It's a lot of numbers. It's, it's, it's Grizzle Red. Um, but not quite. Uh, fly and trample, pay two life, yeah. sacrifice another creature, search your library for a card, and put your, that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. That seems pretty good. <laughs> It's just very expensive. He has a big scary demon. He doesn't have lifelink, right? No, he doesn't have lifelink. But it's like it, at least certainly in limited. It's trample. Yeah, it, in limited, this guy just like it, you don't need to pay attention to the second box, mm -hmm, right? Sure. Like, it, what are you searching for? What do you need? You have an eight-eight <laughs> flying trample. <laughs> yeah. Just attack. In, for sure, in limited. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you can get to eight mana and cast eight mana spells, generally limited, you're doing especially good. in triple black too. Yeah, I think this guy's um, appeal and constructive is kind of sweet. Or maybe in. Uh, yeah, like in modern, if you can sacrifice seven Shadowborn Apostles to get this guy out, then maybe that turns into a combo win or something. I don't know if it's better than Bristleburn. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm curious if you just throw this guy in Reanimator. Yeah, 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 yeah or in know. Reanimator. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I feel like Razaketh and whatever the other demon's name is mm -hmm. that has the other part of. Liliana's soul. Yeah, they probably like meet up and it's like, so have you heard from Grizzlebrand lately? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I thought I thought you were no. Oh, what that's, you that's weird. Uh, so I got a foil Dauntless Haven. Nice. nice, And then just a couple of cards that I'll need I... that for my uh, my queue probably. Yeah, uh, a couple of cards that are just fun. We've got printing's a little weird. Though. Shitty top. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, I guess so. It costs it's, a lot of mana yes, to even compare it to top. It's oh yeah, cruel, it's, but... it's it's real bad top. Yeah, um, and then just kind of interesting like removal in this set. Just speaking from like a limited thing, like I really really like Lethal Sting. Yep. Yeah, um, this card's real good. Because I mean, yeah. you're playing this in your green black, and if you manage to have like say that hippo. That like you can put the minus one minus one counter on to like get minus one counters off your yep. other things and stuff. This thing could be super super nuts. I mean, even just with a spider out. Yeah. You like you you ding one of your you you debuff one of your creatures, but you gain a life and yeah. yeah. Um, this thing's just kind of neat. Uh, I I think it's it's a I mean either way it's a two two flyer for three, which is fine. But like whenever it attacks and gives something else, you have flying, which is cool. Um, and then. Probably my favorite card in the limited format so far has been Spellweaver Eternal. Um, this thing, uh, playing it down on turn two, is really hard to deal with for a lot of people just because they're just like, you never know when someone's going to have a spell and come in, and even if you block it, you're still going to hit them with something. It just kind of feels really strong. Uh, and then Quarry Beetle. This yeah. thing is weird, but also really cool, where you literally just get to grab a land from your graveyard and put it back onto the battlefield. So... All, all Re this, like, recycle land, your fetch. All this land in the graveyard stuff, I guess it's mostly supposed to hook up with the, the uh, deserts. Uh, deserts and, and the cycling lands. They mostly mention oh, right, yeah. 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 the cycling lands. Are and, but they're cycling deserts now, too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. I got the Locust God. Yay! Cool. So yeah, this is your favorite god? Uh, the, he's like, Look at him! Yeah, Whenever you draw a card, yeah. you get a 1-1 one, one flying red-blue insect creature with haste. Brainstorm. That's almost as good as Nerum, is it, right? Yeah, and then for two Ooh. blue red draw card, this card, like it just seems real good. Yeah, this seems cheap. What I got really excited, but I just realized the horse tokens are the exact same art as the dude who makes them. Not quite, uh, close, close it's, to the same art. Is it not? It's the same you artist. Have, don't you? Uh, there was a previous. Oh box. yeah, so we do. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. They're very, very similar. similar. It's, yeah. it's it's mostly the pose I think that's doing it right. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, Before, fair yeah, enough. The token is like slightly higher up on its yeah. hind legs. <laughs> okay, I got I got all these cards in the same pack. Oh, I think I think they're probably all good and limited, and I'm curious what we think the first pick would be. Okay. We haven't talked about any of them yet. Oof, Torrent of yeah, sure. Four mana, instant speed, pretty good removal. Yep. It probably kills a creature, definitely makes it smaller, and then they also have to lose three life, probably, unless they want to sack another non-land permanent or discard a card. So something bad happens, plus you probably kill a creature. It's, this is solid. Even though this one makes them choose, you always get one good effect, which is like a lightning bolting creature. Yep. And then another actual lightning bolt to a creature for three mana. Um, this card seems quite strong because it can kill a pretty large creature for only three mana. Yep. Uh, ground Assault at instant speed, which is better than regular Ground Assault. And then also just shutting down the opponent's aftermath stuff, I guess. Late game survive could be a little sketchy. They might redraw something bad, but whatever. That's, that's a bonus. Doomfall, uh, three Jesus. mana. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> this pack is spicy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three mana Edict or uh, Thoughtseize, right? Uh, repeal the, their hands. You yeah. choose an online card. From Even it. better, card. Exile. Yeah, so like this is actually a pretty good card, maybe for Constructed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Three mana Thoughtseize is bad. Three mana Edict is kind of bad, but either one is maybe fine. Kind of just like Supreme Will, I think maybe we'll see these in standard. Mm -hmm. um, Frilled Sandwalla. I think we'll probably sure. see this kill some people in Limited. Mm -hmm. It's a solid, solid guy. It's probably going to go in basically any deck with green, I would think. Uh, I mean, maybe not, because it, it's going to be a 1-1 one, one for 1 some of the time, as soon as they have a 4-4 four, four or an X-4, but... Uh, and oh, and then, then this... you have the fucking... <laughs> Jesus! Oh my yeah, gosh! Yeah, it was quite a pack, right? I love so, the art on this card. Yeah, oh, really yeah. cool art on this Chimera, Mythic Rare. And then also it's like, hopefully really big and then does something. Like, if as long as you have another creature with Trample. And then like three other creatures I mean, total. Like I'm gonna it's first pick this. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, you think I, it's always I, this guy? I think it's probably. I, wa I wonder if we'll be for sure saying this is the better green card at the end of the format. I'm not sure. Mm. This is like a really cool card for like constructing casual, like commander. I think. Yeah. In limited, it's like you do have to. You do actually have to build this guy up a mm -hmm. bit. You got to make sure because you. You don't just want like a you know next to a bunch of vanilla guys and then he's like a vanilla six six for five. That's not that's amazing, true. Yeah. Right? No, you're, you're not wrong. And then wrong. we got three good removal spells too, which is like normally we would pick those. If is this guy a bomb? I, I guess, guess the question. I guess, if this guy's definitely a bomb, yeah. then you pick. I guess the, the. I mean, I guess my answer is a little skewed. I haven't drafted it. I've drafted the set once okay. so far. If I saw this, I'd be like, snap! I want to see it. Sure. What it does for sure. I I, for sure. I definitely can see like yeah later in the format. It's just like eh, it's like whatever. Like I'll just take the torment or the Sam Walla and cool. actually mm -hmm. try to win. Right. Yeah. Uh, How much better would that guy be if he had all? If he also got like prowess. <laughs> And just if, like any keyword ability, and like yeah. afflict. They gave him a lot of them. Yeah, for sure. If they got afflict, that would be sweet, I guess. Um, just kind of pull on in. I mean, we haven't talked about. He can get trample, and he can also get double strike, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, resolute and survivors in this, I think, could be really, really cool. Um, specifically with the, um, there's a lot of guys that don't even need to attack anymore to do it. So when you're making things like um, if you you know you're you're exerting on your opponent's end step to make like a couple of tokens stuff like that, so you're getting your one one from it, but also getting to uh, basically dome them for one. Yeah, I think it can be a fun little nifty thing if you end up uh, squeaking it out. I like I like room rat. I always love my my one one death touch rats. I think this one's overcosted. It is. I, it's, it's, it's not worth the trigger ability. It's not as, it's not as great, but I'm still gonna play it. It yeah. still kills things. It still trades basically mm -hmm. for anything. And then, uh, what about the uh, sand strangler? The so it's like yeah. Um, this guy's really good. Yeah. So three and a red for three three. When it enters the battlefield, if you control a desert or there is a desert card in your graveyard, you can have a deal three damage to target creature. Yeah. Flame I think tongue it's, cabin. Yeah, it's yeah, that yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's it's it. I mean, it's even trying to look like it, right? But mm -hmm. yeah. not. It's not really quite there. But it's still pretty it's good. Still pretty good, though. I got some more cards to talk. Or go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead. No, I didn't have anything to say. Okay, two Canadians both have something to say, and they bought it at <laughs> yeah. about the same time. Check back with us in another 150 years. Yeah. One of us will have done something. <laughs> okay, this guy just has really cool art. He kind of looks like he's dancing, or like he's. He's yeah, hopping he's down like, from he's, the thing. He's like, Hoo. he's in the mood. Like, like I feel like he's kind of dance walking. Like, what are we up to next, guys? <laughs> like, it's really like this. he's the really excitable dude in the crew. Really like this art. Uh, you you mentioned this card earlier. I think it was talking about the experience of the pre-release. It's mm -hmm. not quite Palaka Worm, but no. like it's good. It's good. This thing comes you know? out, and especially if you're running this and you're doing some sort of big, like even like the blue 
green ramp strategy and mm -hmm. stuff, and you're just like, oh, I've got this. And then also in my deck, I've also got, you know, the heck, that giant hexproof crocodile. I'm going to go ahead and gain like six and also yeah. have the crocodile next turn. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This I, one, oh, I, I like the ball. flavor of that guy. Is uh, of that worm is the the. It feels like the implication is that he's jumping out of your deck so powerfully <laughs> that like part of the cards are kind of coming up with him, so you can see what's coming. Right, and the, the judge kind of walks over and is like, "I don't know what to do. I didn't expect a creature to come out of your deck. Um, pick one, and you can gain that life, I guess. Like, sure." But then you have to put it back on top. Yeah, of your deck. yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a look at the right. pack while we clean up here. Oof. Boop, boop, boop. Oh yeah, the card reader doesn't like this card. Whoa! Oh, there it goes. Uh, that's the TV. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't notice it was on the rest of the screen no, too. I no, thought it was no, just no, the endless sands no, no. was yeah. flickering a whole bunch. I thought it was on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, stream. There's I, no, I'd like to see a full resolution version of that art. Because as it is on the card, it looks like the artist got out, got off really, really easy. <laughs> 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 it's just basically a big lens flare. But I feel like there's probably more detail there that you just can't really see. You ever sort of just like look at some of these and go, that's not a forest <laughs> or an island. <laughs> so, you know, like, I don't know. I They've mean, had to get more and more creative over the years. Yeah, like, I mean, I guess if you put water on it, but it's just like, <laughs> like this. Anything that an island with water. Yeah. I mean, in Ravnica, everything is a cityscape. Yeah, that's fair. But this just looks like lava. <laughs> Behold. And finally. These I like are the that kitty cat. Got there. I'm, I'm kind of curious. So, like, they're making... they. I mean, someone spoiled that uh, the... Uh, one of the ne one of the other commander tribes that's going to be in the new commander series right. is going to be kitty cats. Right. Yeah. Do you think they're already going to, like, put, like, Caracal and Pride Sovereign in there? Like uh, after just like printing them? <laughs> quite possibly, yeah. I mean, sometimes cards do get printed back to back. Mm -hmm. That happens. Yeah. So, and those ones are really good, right? Like they've just put, that's like, yeah. Yeah. Like one of the best, if not the best cat lord. I don't even know how many cat lords there are. Oh, here you go. What Somebody you posted the uh, the high res art for for the endless uh, sands for the endless sands, and yeah, there is actually detail there that just doesn't doesn't uh, it doesn't really yeah. show up on the tiny card. It's just mostly lens flare on the card. Here, uh, let me just grab that. You wanted to look at all the rares, but I was trying to talk about Crash Through for a second. There's now in standard, I believe, a one red mana sorcery cantrip that is. Creatures you control gain trample, and another one that is target creature gains haste. Haste, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe there's some cool mono red uh, prowess deck. Hey, there's somebody standing there. Oh, yeah. and there's like, there's like steps going towards it. Yeah. Well, I mean, right. I mean, I imagine. Oh, is that no, it? Was Noah Bradley who drew, who who did that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't but even pay. Probably a Jace. Uh, all right, guys, we are. That's halfway through. Let's take a break. Uh, we'll come back in a few minutes and continue cracking the last three boxes of Hour of Devastation. Hey, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you in a couple minutes. Think about what you want us to do when we open an invocation, like push-ups or buy ice cream. I mean, we already have opened one. Yeah, we have the dilly bar. And you're supposed to eat the dilly bar. Oh, well, I'll eat it on stream while you guys crack eat packs. the okay. dilly bar? You just get to eat ice cream now? You it's have to eat it in one bite. It's supposed to be something bad. In one go? All right, yeah, I like it. the whole dilly bar in I can mouth. do that. Yeah. Easy. Okay. That's, no problem. We're definitely going to do that when we come back. Awesome. We'll see you guys in a minute. Oh hey. man, that dilly bar was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you literally can see it on Damn your it! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to AFK where we are cracking a case of Amonkhet for anybody who, or not Amonkhet, Hour of Devastation. For everybody who doesn't know, that is six booster boxes. We are three in. Uh, ben opens the first invocation, which means he has to eat the, the lone dilly bar that we had in our fridge or freezer uh, in one bite. Go for it. Really? Quick, change the tabs to be eating. Okay, oh so this is what a dilly bar is, by the way. This thing is kind of ugly. Okay, it's, it's pretty beaten up and pretty fro. Like it's it, got a bit of freezer. Burn. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not. It's not great. Ice cream covered in when you are imagining a dilly bar, were you imagining it being smaller than this? No, I mean I, I, I've had a dilly bar yeah. before. Yeah, right. I just I'm thought that right, I'm taking this stick off. That's wise. And then like, can I fold it? <laughs> God, that looks just. I don't know. Can you? There. Okay. There, that's the that's the way to go. There we yeah, go. That looks good. Uh, don't get any cards. Ben with the cards. strats. <laughs> good luck, ben. You can do this. 
It's halfway in. Three quarters. Eighty <laughs> percent. Jesus God. Captain, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> my my teeth are <laughs> so You're like during the break, I was like, he's like, oh, I did it. whatever, that's no problem. I'm like, two things. One, that's gonna hurt the fuck out of your teeth. Oh. Even if your teeth are in perfect condition, you're just surrounding them in freezing cold ice cream. I mean, I got it in my mouth. That's probably worth something, right? <laughs> it's not in your mouth anymore. Well, I mean, I feel like he hasn't taken one bite yet. Oh, gross. Um, also, on the ice cream front, um, Defrost uh, just very generously donated about 8,000 bits uh, in the once. Was it during the stream? Yeah. Yeah, so Thanks, a little Thanks, Defrost. Bit, yeah, so A, Defrost, thank you so much. That's incredibly. Generous of you, um, but you also told us to get ice cream with it. So we sent Beejo to get ice cream. We so sent Beej to go get ice cream on his birthday. On his birthday, <laughs> go get us ice cream, Beej. We so Beej just got to get us ice cream. Uh, he'll be back, and we'll eat it after we're done cracking these packs. So Defrost, thank you so much. I'm gonna unhook for your first Paul. You're you're awesome. Okay, this one's for Paul. Paul, can I can I throw it? What do you think? Oh. We do sports. There's so many. Yes. Nice. You, you okay there, buddy? Yeah, I froze my teeth. <laughs> it still hurt. <laughs> Your I'm gonna be right back. No, like, I'm gonna go wash my hands and shit before I touch cards. Well, yeah, but just take that with you. Yeah. <laughs> Lick the roof of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, rub the tongue to your top yeah, of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, tongue to your yeah. top of your palate. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's open uh, the Paul. Paul, do it. There we go. Back on Paul cam. <laughs> why, why do I keep getting the same... Did you choose this one? I, I gave you your middle second from the top oh, again. It's the same picture again. You're the same picture again. <laughs> <laughs> we are two subs away, two new subs away from 50 brand new subs on the day, guys. Ooh. 157 returning subs today, one new Patreon subscriber, and Got almost 25,000 bits cheered along yeah, with the 231. Mr. Scrappy Scrapper. I like nice. the Scrapper. Along with 231 new followers. You guys are oh. awesome. Thank you so much. Tragic. Tragic lesson. Oh no. We're Sad learning not to give Paul packs. Yeah. Yeah, apparently not. I got Hostile Desert in my first pack. Yeah, we're not there yet. Not to be confused with Hostile Dessert. Like, ah, mm -hmm. like what? Like Ben just <laughs> had. I'm, I'm fairly certain that I just made every guest oh, hey. just cry. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? Shkakoom! Hey! hey. 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 That's pass, pass. It ain't an invocation, but you know what? Pass Not it, bad. Pass okay. it on over. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's look at that card. Pass it on over. We can so, do it on the overlay. Arlen didn't get a lot of play in standard. Maybe no. this one will? This is, I would argue, one of the worst Planeswalkers. Yeah, I think it's just this the worst. This is like almost Tybalt level of... The only, it takes a while to get to the minus seven, but the minus seven's really good. In, wow. the, in the double moon modern deck, I think this thing might see play because you can almost okay. ultimate it right away. But I feel like yeah, in if you think a card is modern playable at all, even fringe, that's that's yeah. high praise. Yeah. Ben Mike. Oh, can we give? Hopefully you heard. You guys can hear Ben maybe, but he thinks that salmon is playable in modern. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dominated. Um, yeah. yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it might be playing double moon. Maybe. Who knows? What is this double moon deck you're talking about? I don't even really play Sam much. Sam, that's a not uh, play so, yeah. I mean, it basically re revolves around like doubling season. And oh, okay, like doubling and season. And, and, and blood moon? Yeah. Or what? Okay. Yeah, so then, yeah, you're basically playing out Sam right. and she can ultimate pretty much right away. And then you can go get both your moons with her? Yeah. All right. Well, no, because you already have one in play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's okay. <laughs> I got you a foil on summon, sweetheart. Oh. Hey, look at that. Oh. I don't feel like... Um, How's your face? Are you going to be okay? Yes. Yeah, my All teeth right. just like... The moment I put it in, they were just like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, you Ram were dumb. The uh, Ramu map. Ramanap. Ramanap ruins. It's actually not that hard. It's not as hard as you think. Yeah. I'm it just looks really weird, shit. but it's just Ramanap. But uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think these ones are kind of cool. These lands that do things. Yeah, thought? I like that they're always including like you know every year at least there's a four mana removal spell that you want to think is good. The the one from Instrad actually got played, so it was like four mana exile target creature and each other creature with the same name. And then it had flashback. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. then this one, I feel, is just like a worse guild. I'm surprised that got played in, when there's a uh, declaration in stone. And it didn't. No, no, no. Old Innistrad. First oh, Innistrad. sorry. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this card a lot. 
devotee yeah. of strength. I don't know how to read this card. So Magma Spray is in the first set, isn't it? Uh, yes. yes. And it only has two toughness. Mm -hmm. It's true. Five mana to activate. Five mana to activate, but five mana to activate any creature, which I think is kind of yeah. nice. It's not just like, it's not give itself plus two, it's target creature, yeah. which I think is kind of neat, but you're not wrong. Like, it's... it's uh, maybe it's fine though. Maybe it's good. Like I, I pretty quickly killed this the it's other got day. Three power for three mana. When somebody yeah, played it, I opened an abrade. Speaking of lightning, I showed off the oh. uh, the cooler looking lightning bolt earlier. But this is the better lightning bolt that is also shatter. You know, it felt really good. What's that? In sealed pool, uh, abrading somebody's god tomb pharaoh thing. Oh yeah, nice. The, the seven mana. Yeah. And now I'm gonna make five creatures. Yeah. Nope. No. You do no, pretty combat. Um, Firebrand Archer. I love all of these kind of cards. The G Electrodes, the Thermo Alchemists, mm -hmm. the these cards. Gutter Snipes. Jam. Yeah, yeah. the Gutter Snipes. Love them. Sweet. I've opened a bunch of this and this, so exciting new zombie cards. This one yeah. I think is really neat. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, you don't see the Elspeth trigger. It's got, a, it's got a name. Sorry, I forget what it's called. It was in a set I didn't play, but it's like plus three, plus three, and flying and white. Like It's like the evasive, big big sexy pump spell with the sorcery, right? Yeah. Uh, you see them more often in green, like Phyto Burst was pretty recently in, you know, uh, Return to Ravnica Block. Um, and like you see things like that more often in green, like the five mana, give all your dudes a bonus. But th this one's neat because it can come back. I, I, I like that the, the unconventional tactic is the Lemmings methodology. Yeah, also the art is hilarious. It's just like, well, I'm just going to walk my soldiers off a bridge <laughs> right onto the enemy. Good. <laughs> What you got? Uh, I got two. So I really like that they started changing up the exert thing. We, I mean, we talked about that with the kitty cat. This is a bear that can also make little babies, little baby bears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's a lot of fun, um, as well as I, I don't know how to judge these ones. There's a lot of these ones that like they start dying one's slowly, but then you neat. do a thing and they stop dying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think they're interesting. I don't know. Like I, I don't but, know what you. How you prioritize I had a that? Pretty, I had a pretty good pack. I had a foil earth shaker, nice. which is kind of nice. And, but then I also have a scorpion god. So you know, it's a second scorpion god. Yeah, sec that's a second scorpion god. But it's just it's a fun pack. Always love that foil rare mythic pack. I opened Riddle Form, which is a neat card. Yeah, I like yeah. this card. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's constructed playable. It feels a little weak. You know, it's a, uh, maybe a little weak, but. Uh, I feel like maybe in, it's good enough. It doesn't die to wraths. Yeah, in the deck that it wants to go in, like it's it's like a blue red spells matter kind of thing. I find that like I'm or maybe like a blue white control. Like yeah, that's true. That. I just find that I'm not really casting spells on main phase enough that this thing's going to turn to a creature and attack. I mean, I guess I could use it as a blocker sometimes. Yeah, but... well, there's that. I mean, you could keep it up as a blocker and they won't know if they mm -hmm. can get in with their dudes that are small than three three. Like it's not huge. Usually in a control deck, you want your you guys big. I mean, yeah, in blue red spells, if you're just casting a spell and tagging with it every turn, two mana, three, three flying. Yeah. That's yeah. good. It's, it's still, yeah, it's still pretty sweet. It's got a downside that it can't keep doing that if you run out of spells, but it's got an upside that you can pay three mana and scribe one. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe there will be a home for it in that kind of deck. This is a really cool name that's not really that big of a deal. That card is, I think it's a blowout if I'm, if I'm thinking of the it's, right thing. It's sleep, Ooh. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, new one we haven't done, we've talked about yet. Dejeru. Dejeru. So, Dejeru three with white, white for a 4 3 with vigilance. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a planeswalker card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Yeah, okay. If a source reveal uh, deal damage to a planeswalker, you control prevent one of that damage. The bodyguard. So, so I mean, in, in a deck with planeswalkers, sure. Do you, do you first pick this card for a draft? Five mana, 4 3 vigilance. I'm not super excited about that. Depends on what else is in the pack, I guess. Like, yeah, I needed to have more toughness, I think, to be a first I, pick. I, I can't remember. What did I take? I feel like I took the the lightning bolt, the, the sure. straight Three lightning mana bolt. One? Oh, the two mana. No, one? the the yeah. Sure. Um, I'm more into that. I think um, over this the other day on my first draft because I was sure like I was reading it. I was like, oh, look at all this stuff. It. Wait, does this is all really useless stuff? I, I just yeah, played in Commander. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, put it in. Yeah. Put it in your super annoying uh, uh, super friends ADH deck. Yeah. So is, it, is this guy supposed to be like Nico Bolas's buddy, or is he the other guy's buddy? No, he's uh, Samet's buddy. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So apparently, I heard Samet and Jer were in the same crop of like initiates going through the trials together, mm -hmm. yeah. and Samet was like the one that kind of started the revolution. Then eventually got Jeru over. Jeru was initially like loyal to Nicol Bolas for a long time. Uh, yeah. 
How and, and so now he dare just like you. shows up and is like, "Oh, That's just wait till Samet gets so here. Mad. You guys are in trouble." <laughs> yeah, I fi- I went and got him, and now he's okay. about to come out. <laughs> yeah, James stealing packs from my pile. Got a foil Razaketh's right. Mm. This card is eh. It's the Diabolic Tutor, but costs one more because you can cycle it. Oh, I think this card's actually one of the more exciting cards of the set. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Canadian Hunter decks, some of them are going to play it. And I think could be 60 card decks that play it, maybe? Mm-hmm. We don't, we've rarely seen Diabolic Tutor show up in Modern or, uh, or Standard. Yeah. But this card, I think, is like slightly better than Diabolic Tutor. So just because of the cycling, or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, fair. not because of the extra one mana. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dagger the Worthy. I know we all hate Afflict, but how how quick do you prioritize this thing? It's kind of expensive. It doesn't give any toughness bonus. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like. Strap it on a flyer. Strap it on a flyer. It's, sure, it's yeah. a bad bone splitter, but it's a bone splitter. Um, Dunes of the Dead. Kind of a cool. You know, probably limited only, but lands lands to graveyard synergy. Um, if you do have a Ramanap uh, excavator, is that his name? Yeah, excavator in your deck and a way to sacrifice your lands other than the rare one that exiles everything. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, like yeah. I saw at the pre-release, someone had like this and the exile one, so it wasn't actually quite a synergy. <laughs> also, you're gonna see some decks that are trying to just get as many of these guys as possible. Yeah. Um, yeah, my friend Ben Wheeler pointed out like he's looking forward to drafting this deck. And then for Constructed, uh, I wonder if we'll see, I don't know for sure, but there was Elusive Spellfist became a deck, like Blue, blue Red Prowess, mm-hmm. uh, and Elusive Spellfist was kind of like the cornerstone of that deck. So maybe there will be a like scrying, like this looks... Hey Paul, mm-hmm. yeah. you want to click whatever oh. window that is? Um, it looks like, yeah. it looks a lot like Spellfist, so I wonder if there'll be uh, a cycling Constructed mm-hmm. aggro deck, maybe. That that like tap to do damage to a creature, do you think does that have any more use or interest with there being that there's quite a few like filter type things where it's like tap to untap a land? Right. So sorry, we're talking about the wall here. It only yeah. targets players, but I mean, okay. still the same question. Um, yeah, maybe if you just like, like there, there know, are two or three guys that do that, right? Untap a permanent or something, right? Like yeah. there's the vizier from the first set. Is that my pack or your pack? I think it's yours. Do you want it? No, you can have it. All right. I was thought, very confused. Thought it was yours. I thought it was yours. Let's fight um, over. Anyway, let's talk foil, about that card. Sure. Foil active heroism. I mean, it's just a neato combat trick. It's a really pretty looking foil, though. Mm-hmm. It's not as good a combat trick as prepare, right? No. No. Yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um. I haven't talked about Eternal either, I don't think. Oh yeah, that card is a sweet name. Mm-hmm. Harsh Truths. Harsh Truths. Yeah. Eternal of Harsh Beats. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's neat. I mean, it's again, these. it's the forcing folks to make choices kind of card. Um, yeah, I don't know much to say. And then we also haven't talked about Oketra's Avenger. Uh, that's like the... Seems reasonable. Piker. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like a... Well, I don't know if the, it's like a Blade of the Six Pride, right? Yeah, Piker usually only has two power. Yeah. But uh, yeah, three one for two, with a decent ability. Um, they make a lot of these now, mm-hmm. right? White has like a, you can make a three one for two theme deck. Whereas like when Blade of the Six Pride came out, it was like whoa, yeah, yeah. three power, right? Like Watch Both have been printed already. I got the Scarab God in my pack. Hey, hey so we got all the gods now. Yeah, we got all the gods. This one, I think. I think this one might be my favorite. Um, I just like that it does so many different things. It yeah, goes, it does a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, that's for sure. It goes face with damage. It exiles cre- or, yeah, creatures from their yard, uh, and you get to scry. It does all of these things. That's a lot of things on a 5-5 five, five sort of indestructible. Mm-hmm. Also, this common, um, I don't know, might yeah. be part of a combo eventually if there's some way to like just cast spells over and over again, sometimes casting the same spell over and over again is a thing that mm-hmm. decks do. Like the um, approach to the second sentence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got an Apocalypse Demon. Yep. Yeah. New This difference. thing seems like a trap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's like, you, th- you see, it seems like it's going to be cool because he's a six drop, but there's the chance that this comes out as a one one worth flying. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't seem super great. I think for limited, it's a cool top end as long as you're in the cycling deck. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, it's like a late, late game thing. Yeah. 
Um, but he does yeah. give you a way to put cards in the graveyard. That's true. He lets you sack things. I mean, he could be neat if you're doing some sort of aristocrat strategy. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Well, this... I don't think we had any super exciting ones. I guess the Scarab God made us uh, come full circle now. Was there any, like, rares that we haven't opened yet? I mean, it's tough of four boxes in. We've seen all the rares now, so maybe we're less excited, but... Yeah. The Planeswalker. Yeah, the yeah. Plan, we saw the Planeswalker here, which was nice. Is there another one besides Salmon? Or um, Salmon? Have we two. opened all the Mythics? Oh, and That's bulls. what I'm curious. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Chat? Do you guys know if we've if what mythics we're missing? Mm -hmm. You you mentioned earlier, Ben, that uh, Chaos Ma did some serious work for you. Yeah. Uh, so it's like, how how big is the drawback of the doing three damage to all your guys? Like, is it hit you? Did, if you're you, how careful do you have to be with it? I found that I rarely had to be. You're um, just like that's fine. But my my sealed deck was sweet. I went five zero. So, <laughs> but like, uh, it. Uh, um, it was like I mean, by the time I'm playing it, I'm playing generally my top end, so I'd have like two of those four four sphinxes that like yeah get things down, and then you play the 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 worm and get rid of everything pretty much on the yeah. other side of the board. I mean, it's interesting because when you're playing that one in the late game, sometimes too, you might be in eternalize area for your opponent, and so you might just whiff it a little bit since they might have a lot of four fours, but. Uh, generally, whenever I was resolving it, I was getting a better deal than they were. So, uh, so people or somebody just asked me, why? Oh, yeah. Why are you going so fast? I can't hmm. read all these cards. It's because we that we just literally went through that whole box. Um, and I was just quickly showing you guys what we opened there. So, so. Someone just made a very good point uh -huh. that we are horrible at our jobs because uncaged the menagerie. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah! Our yeah. preview card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Is there one we haven't gotten yet? Yeah. Oh. Uh, here you go. Pass that to Paul. You got it, buddy. Menagerie. Uh, so far, I think, worst same, red card. Same picture again, eh? Yeah, I did that on purpose this time. Oh, okay. Now I'm just doing it because, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Feeling good. I like the Feeling Paul. good. Paul has his own little pile of pack wrappers yeah. in his yeah. area, too. <laughs> Solitary cute. Camel. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Please don't Should do Should be legendary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Solitary Camel has friends. They just aren't camels. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get along with his own kind. That's understandable. Do, 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 do. Hey, unsummon. Woo! <laughs> Everyone likes it. Yay. Uh, Paul's slow rolling it for us well, right not, now. Not like super slow rolling it, but Obla Spider. Uh, we got Leave to Chance. Okay. Sorry, folks. We land plan. That is the second time I've got Leave yeah, to Chance. Yeah, second time Leave yeah. to Chance, isn't it? It's like what we did with you opening these packs. That's, that's the Leave picture is definitely just like that's a straight up nativity scene, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa, maybe. Like the wise men arriving on the camels. Yeah, I guess so. We were talking about this card briefly before. It isn't quite sleep, but it's sort of sleep if you can block all their creatures or not die. Uh, right on their yeah, on their turn, you can get all their creatures essentially tapped. Well, no, I guess they can just always play a creature post combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We talked about but it does have cycling. It's a good. It's a good card. Good card for limited, but so, sleep never saw constructor play. I don't think so. I don't think this one will. Like carrying creature. In, yeah, in limited, I like it. Yeah. I mean, it's not. I mean, I like three one Vases flyers, but I mean, it dies real easy. But yeah, it's a zombie. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like a solid playable. I think. I don't know if you want to be including a lot of them just as four mana. It's just Ooh. weird seeing it in the format that has Bone Picker. <laughs> it's just like so much. You know, when this guy shows up at the party, it is on. Oh man! Yeah, yeah like eternal. your your life is changing tonight. I think we're starting learning that the zombies and the jackals <laughs> know how to party. Mine is cooler. Did you just steal my card? Sure did. Wow. You son of a... Mm. Well, I got, right. I got... Harsh letters. It's Michigan, another one. And I got a foil uh, ruins, Ooh. which is... Yeah, it's pretty nice. So, yes. is it just me? The 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 uh, Ramunap, Ramunap yeah. ruins. Uh -huh. Like, Ramunap is becoming ruins in this picture. Yeah, like, it was... Five seconds ago, it was just Remnap is a place. <laughs> <laughs> then we sacrificed it, and now it's the ruins. Yeah. Um, the crook seems just that one too. interesting, just in the way that it's like, especially in this format. But like, 
it just kind of seems so dirtily that you're never gonna like. I know why they made it because of all like the eternal eyes and all that kind of jazz. Yeah. But it just seems so dirtily that like it's not gonna get there, and then it's never gonna see. I don't think play outside because everyone will just run tour mods instead. Yeah, I think they're getting low on different options they can give us for efficient uh, graveyard destruction rocks. Mm -hmm. So like, they all, they've, each one they've made has something that's better and worse than all the other ones, right? Yeah. And so, but this one costs two mana, so it's kind of in a whole another league of bad. Mm -hmm. Have we talked about champions of the woods yet? We've opened no, it, but not I think yet. we glazed yeah. over it. Yeah, yeah, so it's like two and a blue for a two cool one card. Naga Wizard. Well, when it enters the battlefield, you may draw cards equal to its power if you do discard two cards. So you can, when you just play it for three, you draw two cards and you discard two cards. And then when you eternalize, you're drawing four and discarding two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of, oh wait, no, no. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's kind of cool. I like someone it. In, someone in chat said none of this will see play outside of standard. I disagree. Mm -hmm. There are a number of cards I think definitely will. Um, and speaking of, how about in cage any manage? <laughs> There it is. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't realize it was mythic. Yeah, it's mythic. That's yeah. what I'm wow. Yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. We did it. So we're, I was saying worst red card earlier because yeah. I think everyone the first time they read it thought they could get any creatures they wanted. Yeah. Right. It doesn't say or less. Yeah. So search your library. The words for or less are there. Yeah. yeah. Up to X creature cards with different names, and each of them have converted mana cost X. Yeah. So you have to get exactly you can get one, yeah. one, one make, two twos, three yeah, threes. Yeah. Make sure make sure you know your deck real well before you cast yeah. this one. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think you want to play it. In, if you're playing constructed, you play it in a certain deck. Like you can get two twos, and they can be a combo that give you infinite mana in modern that just came out from Mammon Cat. So that's four mana to tutor up both your pieces, but I, I don't know if that's good enough. Yeah, no. for four mana, you want to just put them both into play with that instant from Dragons of Tarkir. Yeah, yeah. I, have, has it, any any of you actually played with this thing? No. Okay, some menagerie. Not yet. No, I haven't played it at all. But I I think that card is noteworthy and worth checking out. Like getting three threes is not ridiculous. That's not a you know five it's mana just is like, a thing you can do. I think I would. Like, like snap. If this was, especially being mythic, I kind of just want this to go. That like they go to the battlefield. Sure, not your cost hand. like four green and X or whatever. Yeah, so it's like if you're paying yeah. four mana and you're getting, uh, I don't know. It, I can understand. I guess you could really jank that out. But. Could be weird. Uh, foil carrion creature. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, yeah. right. Foil God Pharaoh's gift. Wait, mm. yeah, it's showing me up. It's too bad that we can't open it in limited now. Cause if we open it here, yeah, yeah. you really want to like tutor up the foil one yeah. when you're when you're winning with that deck. True. This card was cool. Bio manifestation gets plus one plus O for each cre or each card with cycling in your graveyard, and it has cycling itself, and it's a. Uh... 0 for two? Right, so right. another, I actually think this one's fine. I could see this card going in a constructed deck next to that blue guy I was talking about earlier. So it's like the blue-black cycling aggro deck. I don't know if it's going to be good, but that's two two drops, both of which, you know, this one is a Tarmogoyf, right? Whatever, it's going to come down. If you play it on turn two, it probably has one or zero power, mm -hmm. but then like as time progresses, it's going to have five or six. Um, you know, you're going to be able to build a constructed deck that can do that. And then the other guy is, gets plus one each time you cycle, and he's unblockable. So like you've got two different guys that are able to chip away a lot of damage in their yeah. game. So yeah, I like the fact that they themselves actually cycle too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that one also cycles, so that's really good. And that's particularly good on that one, I think, is the blue one's going to be the better one in the late game because it'll want unblockable more than want just ra random big guy. Yeah, this card looks really good for limited. I can even see this seeing a tiny bit of constructed play because it's kind of like. A flexible but hard hitting spell for a control mirror. So mm -hmm. if there is, you know, multiple different control decks in the next format or two, you can maybe just want to bring in one of these so you have a mind rot for your opponent. Mm -hmm. I, think this is, I like this bear. Yeah, this that one's is, good. It's a 2 2 for 2 when you exert it, gets plus 1 plus 1 and can't be blocked. I, I like this card a lot. I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, let's wait for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Tenacious Hunter. What's that one? That guy's nasty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another solid desert guy? Or no? no. Okay, okay. Yeah, so if you... I mean, it seems... It, this this feels really gross when you have this guy out, and then uh, you play the... Uh, what is it? Touch of Death with the, the three mana. Put a minus one, minus one counter on one of your dudes and destroy target creature. Right. So you, you, get, to, you get to turn this That's thing on game. and kill something. Yeah. Mm. 
Like that. I got myself a uh, full art foil. Ooh, for oh, I really like that. That's really nice. Really? That looks really good. Friday at 10 a.m., Ben. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about first in line. Devastation briefly. Okay. Uh, just because we haven't yet. Scene. Yeah, so this card <laughs> is kind of a cool bomb. Like, you know, for limited, it's going to kill most things. It's got the watermark. It's a storyline card. You might notice it has the same name as the set. Mm -hmm. um, it kills <laughs> gods. But not the good new gods, right? It just kills uh, like every other god printed, just about. I guess it doesn't kill like Karametra. She's got seven toughness, right? Yeah. But I think it kills all of the gods from Amonkhet and also most planeswalkers. <laughs> Yeah. So it really sums up what was going the on. The non bolus Planeswalker line. I have beautiful. yet to I get to that. play yeah. with any of the gods. Not saying, but however, I have always drafted one. Because every single time I have, I have uh, resolved one, next turn it gets exiled. Ooh. I've been final rewarded. I've hey. been uh, the other thing, the, the four mana, five damage red spell, mm -hmm. the sorcery. I messed up, sorcery. actually. It must might have been the most recent game of limited I played, or no, most recent tournament that I played. Uh, my opponent had Hepatra of Zero Poisons, and then I got like, I kept a two lighter that didn't get there, so I got totally mana screwed. Mm -hmm. But then I finally got to four mana, and I just like windmill signed my Oketra, but I didn't like think through the game. I, he hadn't been playing much stuff, so I was just like, okay, this is fine. I just have to play it, and then I make more stuff because I just have to spend my mana on something. Mm -hmm. But I actually just should have passed and discarded Oketra because he like attacks, deals to damage me, puts a minus one minus one counter on uh, Oketra, makes a snake, and then he played another thing. So then like my clock was too slow because he could always do that. So he's like making one more snake every right. time. Right. Yeah. So for the, so the hour, with the hour yeah. of devastation, uh, yeah. people in the chat are pointing out that it doesn't kill Bantu or Oketra. Oh, okay. Because they All both right. have six power. They both have six oh, toughness. Oh, yeah, that's true. Or six toughness. Um, Flavorful. But it does. Uh, it would get rid of their indestructibility for the rest of the turn, though, right? Yes. So if you've got mm -hmm. some other way to do right. one damage to them. Yeah. What's Bantu? Is Bantu like a 3 6 also? Or it's like is a 4 five, six, five, six, four, six, four, six, six Yeah, okay. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Have we seen it? Yeah. Shaker yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. It. But we haven't talked about River Hoopo enough yet. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. This thing is silly. <laughs> I did blow James this. is done. He's I've tired already, of Hoopo. I've already killed this card twice. In really? Limited. Yeah. <laughs> I feel good about well, it. I mean, it's not indestructible. It's just a 1 3. Yeah, dude. I know, but it's, it's absurd. And then we foil puncturing he's blow just, it. Oh, he's damn. Just a, he's I mean, just a pretty little kill bird. Kill that bird. At a certain point, like, you know, it, there's only so much mana you can spend on an obviously good effect, right? <laughs> like, if you, if you spend all your mana. Just because you work. ate your dessert so fast <laughs> doesn't mean I'm savoring the meal. <laughs> I, I just like this. Quick, are busy. Steal it now. That's the pack I was going to take. Okay. <laughs> no, fuck it! <laughs> you suck. I'm so mad at you. You got another box. It was open. resilient, Kendra. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, I, I just like with the River Hoopo that there's all this... There's all this stuff, you know, there's the Hour of Devastation going on, the planes, uh, the the Gate Watch is fighting Nicol Bolas and getting attacked and killed, all the gods are coming back, revolutions are happening and stuff, and there's this little bird hanging up by the river being like, huh, this river is redder than it usually is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. well. That's awesome. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Mm. Uh, Fervent Paincaster, the old ping friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That guy's dece. Mm -hmm. He only has one toughness himself. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Flexible, fairly powerful. Right? It's, it's, it's on the opposite scope of what I usually think. Like, normally these cards are like the high toughness, low damage kind of dudes. All right, last pack. Okay, one. here we go. Which I don't think we... Yeah, you, you, you were the one who first put it on. Oh, right, uh, yeah. Okay. At the very, it's at the, the very card that start. I wanted to be amazing and is not. Yeah. I, it's good to end How up. many cards do like the, that? Three, three life discard a card, sacrifice a creature. Uh, s there's like a cycle of them that do that, or not? I don't know if it's a cycle, but there's a couple of cards that have that. Right. I mean, in limited, I've been hit for twelve with that. So. So there was also the common one does the same thing. Uh, it's like once. torrent of yeah, it's like four mana instant, put three minus one minus one counters on a creature, then they either lose their life, discard a card, or sacrifice a non land permanent. Right. Um, is there another one? I there's maybe one. there's an uncommon one too, or like Nicol Bolas. Does he does he do that too? I don't even know what that guy's abilities are. I, I stopped reading. <laughs> and that's tough. I noticed there were four 
And he comes down with seven loyalty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a, a common, an uncommon, and a rare. Okay, cool. Hmm. There is an uncommon as well. I like the snake token. Oh, I oh we got another one of those token. majestic guys. Yeah. Yeah, I opened one in another pack. I just didn't mention Wait, it. Wait, is that a second salmon? Yes, yeah. we also got I, a second salmon. Double salmon. Any invocations yet? Yes, we have opened up a thought in the first box. Yeah. And the last box is going to have one too. I hope so. First and last. So, what do you guys, okay, I know none first of us have read the lore or whatever, but I'll let you know that Nickel Bolas has this army of eternal zombies now that are mm. like these super soldiers from Ammon Cat. So, what do you think he's going to do with them? Uh, he's going to go and destroy people? Dominaria. All right. Well, hopefully, Kamigawa. It's, see, that's, <laughs> that's along the way. That'll be one car. Uh, yeah, that's the car stop. Yeah, yeah. Bolus yeah, Bol has some bad memories about Kamigawa. Oh, really? They so, killed yeah. Kamer, the uh, Umazawa killed them. I, oh, okay. Uh, okay. I always picture that's that. Part of lore, yeah. I always yeah, picture he, he, in Kamigawa they just kind of killed them. They get killed themselves because two of the exact same legendary dudes walk into the same <laughs> thing and they bar just, at like, the same yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. He was oh, actually no. basically trying to pull the same thing in Kamigawa that he did in Amonkai. Oh, like okay. he was like, I'm God. And then. Uh, well, he is a big dragon. And then somebody was like, I'm gonna kill the God, and they did. Hmm. But luckily, he got better. <laughs> Why the hate for Kamigawa? I actually really enjoy Kamigawa. <laughs> a lot of people don't really like it's it. The, it's the meme to it's hate the, It's the stepchild of magic. It, yeah, was the, right. it was the set after Mirrodin Block. Oh, not on camera. It was the set after Mirrodin Block, and so it needed to do something. If, yeah. We're, yeah. Yeah. if we're going back to a plane, I, I like one of my favorite planes is like Phyrexia, or mm. new Phyrexia now. So I'd, I'd like be to curious to check in with that. Ironically, R and D printed one more busted artifact. Oh. You know, in, in Kamigawa, right? Yeah. He's like, right. Oh, we weren't quite done. All right, Paul, what you got? All right, here we go. Also, Paul Cam. Paul right. Cam. Oh. There he is. Uh. <laughs> Mummy, Paranormal, we got here. Another tragic lesson. Oh, oh man, stop killing. So many sad. Stop tragic killing Kefnet, dog. <laughs> so many tragic lessons. I'm uh, hoping for leave to chance here. If Kamigawa, we haven't opened enough leave to chances yet. If Kamigawa is the stepchild of magic, what is Homelands? Uh, uh, your boring uncle. Uh, <laughs> afraid not. Bond 2's last reckoning. Uh, hey, hey, I mean, no card. that's a good card. Yeah. And an invocation? No. All right, Paul. No. Nope. Well. I didn't get this planes, but that's not really... I hope you've enjoyed opening these uh, commemorative <laughs> Ether Revolt yeah. one-time invocation packs. <laughs> There you go. I got the foil version of your scrapper. Nice. He's scrappy. Or sorry, it wasn't either. It was Ammo Cat, right? It was the last time we were here? Yeah. We're yeah. Ammo Cat, yeah. Oh, here. quick, Ben. Take the Paul pack. The Paul we pack. need you. Alright. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah. Let's look at a hippo because. Hippo! He's you know, got a lot of mouth. Hypno -toad. I just watched Okja last night. Okja. On, so uh, good. Netflix. That was pretty good, although. I really enjoyed it. My wife was quick to point out super pigs, they're just hippos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? I think, I think these that was kind of the worst thing. magical. They already they, live on Earth. <laughs> they're literally they're just hippos. here. Yeah. Except hippos are real mean. Yeah, that's true. Also, I like that they're like, they no, hippos are really scary, but they don't have enough teeth. Let's let's give them more teeth. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one has like weird elephant spikes coming out of its mouth and stuff. All right. It's also on a rampage, so watch out. So you officially, you've got a play set of fraying sanity now. Official play set. Yeah. Sick. The official play set. I don't know if we talked about it enough. Like, I mean, we I've definitely we definitely brought it up, but Bane Whip Punisher. It was one of the first cards we opened tonight, and yeah, yeah, it's definitely good. Yeah, it's kind of up there with this guy in terms of strong uncommons. Mm -hmm. Or no, that's not the right one. The other the other lizard that kills something when it comes into play. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Because this thing, yeah, I mean, for if anything, it's a four mana kill spell, which is pretty sweet. I love the art on this card so much. Yeah. yeah, it looks like there's a foil one of these hanging around in the pre-release, and I was just like, ooh. It looks like it's kind of hanging ooh. out in like Borderlands. The yeah. art style is reminding me of right. that. Yeah, it's a yeah, little he bit. He almost has like right? a, a black line around him. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It's yeah. kind of cool. I, I really like it. It's also just a five-five hexproof with cycling for seven, which yeah. is sure yeah. solid. Like, I'll take it. Solid serpent. Okay, we've opened most of the cards at this point. Mm -hmm. We have. Oh, I think we've opened almost. Mm, got uh, Manticore Eternal. Um, got another. Uh, 
Stifle Bird. Bird. Stifle Bird. We've got news, good news. All the ramp players from uh, from Commander. Oh. The foil beneath the fans looks real good. Yeah. yeah. Those of you who are going to care. And you can, and you can purchase one. <laughs> <laughs> well, just in case you were like, this this ramp spell's not great, but maybe I want it. It's like, yeah, <laughs> turns out it looks real good. Yeah. I've opened, I'm on the James train, by the way, and opening a full art in pretty much every pack now. Nice. Nice. It's a good train. It is. Feels good, bruh. Are we? Uh, it's a pretty train. Hey, are we dropping any frames here, Paul? Uh, I am actually seeing some frame drops. Oh All right, my goodness! So that's goodness. on our end. So we'll hopefully it'll we'll pass. We've got Avon Reed Stalker. We haven't talked about this card at all yet. At Flash common, frames. yeah. Mm. So ninjas of Glenelendra. Um, we often called this one. This is like one of the better combat tricks you can get in Limited, is just flashing in a 2-3 flyer. It's been printed a few different times. It was uh, some sort of skite in a core set. The mm -hmm. first one was back in Lorwyn. Um, really strong draft card, usually. I haven't played this draft set at all yet, but typically this guy's really good, so watch out for him. It's another Locust God. Yay! I have something better than an Invocation. Ooh. Or a Masterpiece, whatever they're called. Better than that. Yeah! Oh, foil bird. It's a foil bird. And we moneyed. Yeah. We're all fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. What does yeah. it look like on the foil? Oh, uh, it's actually on. a terrible looking Oop. foil, I think. But it's, it's foil. Kinda, it's kind of. It's kind of like a unicorn. It's throw a little up foil. I mean, the problem is it's terrible looking, but I've still charged fifty dollars for it. It's right? a very dark card, right? Like yeah. there's, it, it's yeah. not a very like flashy bright. The problem card. is that the river's made of blood. <laughs> yeah. Well. Getting there. So maybe, okay, so the, the black invocation is pretty good and the green invocation is pretty good. Maybe you just want to put both of them in the same deck, then get to five mana and do both of them, because then it's kind of like you get your overload cost for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, get to five mana, kill all your creatures, then make a five four go. Next turn, I do nothing, but hopefully that doesn't matter. I don't know if that's a deck. Power of Devastation. Open another. He's back. Oh yeah! Paul? All right, what does he do? Oh, what are these guys' GP. abilities? The GP. So okay, so step one. Step one plus Cruel two. Cruel intimations in your graveyard <laughs> triggers and comes back to your hand. All right, so plus two. Target opponent exiles cards from the top of his or her library until he or she exiles a non-land card. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Whoa! That's just plus two. Steal plus your one. Each spells. opponent exiles two cards from his or her hand. Okay. Minus four. Period. Just yep. rot them. Okay. Uh, minus four. Uh, Nicol Bolas deals 7 damage to target opponent or creature an opponent controls. Minus 12, exile each non-land permanent your opponent controls. What's the minus 4 again? Deals uh, seven, 7 damage to target opponent or creature an opponent controls. Huh. I do like the, just the, the little nod to his previous incarnations. They do have the little 7 damage thing in there. Yeah. That's cute. Wow. What'd you Foil get? Full plans. Oh. I, yeah. It, it, Looks really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm reading this card. I haven't read it yet. Okay. It's rare. Green and black split card. And... Oh, okay. So, Sorcery. You guys get Trample and Edric. Or Ophidian. Ooh. And then Aftermath. Gain Menace. And then make some discard a card. And then Aftermath is only two mana. I like it. I think it's going to be really good and limited. I don't know that it'll see play Constructed, but... Yeah. This pack seems pretty sweet. Ooh. Ooh, we got a... I'm at the turn. I want you to talk about. We got a foil adorned pouncer. Kitty oh cat. damn! Cat. The pretty kitty. The pretty. I, I gotta pretty say, cat. like every cat that I know would be very unhappy to have a thing attached to its tail like that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or even that thing around its neck with just yeah. all the spikes. They probably wouldn't like that very much either. Oh no, I'm the slowest again. I keep trying to figure out what the appropriate speed is for you two. I just can't seem to get on well, your. Well, what I'm no, I mean what I'm learning is that like even I'm going too slow because James could like. Rifles through is then starts stealing packs out of my. Pile. I mean, I, could I hit go, two packs because I want. I'm gonna get you two to play a game after. I we're could done. go much oh, faster than we've been going. No, it's a it's a different thing. Oh, I'm are teach, we gonna play? I, I'm gonna teach you the game of kings. No, I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna teach you the game that I learned in Vegas. Oh, oh God, sweet. What? Is there this we, like three card gambling? gambling? No, you're not gambling. All I got is my kidneys. I didn't bring a lot of money, <laughs> but I'm ready to put it all, right. all in a one. Last pack. Last pack. There. I mean, there's. Let me double up. Let me go home happy with two. You went. You got one. That's not bad. That's what I mean. There are there are starving children all over North America who have never opened a masterpiece. Wow! As though just to say screw you, they gave me our inventory. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> but hey, look, it's a uh, foil inferno jet. 
Okay, still on Lifetime, never opened one of these weird things. I don't think they exist. You've never opened a, a masterpiece, masterpiece at no. all? No, not at all. How? Including these. How is that even? Including these. coming here. Yeah. I've it was two, my I pack that total. I threw to Paul for the last one. I've opened... <laughs> it could have been yours. How is it possible? I don't know. Maybe I'm unlucky? Uh, all right. I've uh, opened, I tried pretty hard at this game. Yeah, I've, I've opened two. Opening packs. <laughs> it was the Thoughtseize that we just did, and I opened a Meek Stone. All right. Let's uh, pile all these yeah, up yeah. and give them to Nelson, and then I'm going to teach you the game that I learned. The game of kings? The king's so, game? The game that I learned, um, I believe it was called uh, Pi Gal Magic. All right, so not Game of Kings. That's no. Not, no. So, you will each get a pack of magic cards. Okay. You will each open said pack of magic cards. Okay. You will then each construct five decks of three cards of magic cards. Five so that, decks of three? Okay. So five decks of three. That means that one of your decks will have your basic lands. Okay. Okay? Then you will lay out your five decks in front of you and yeah. choose one each and play those decks. And you play those decks like you, you would have unlimited mana. Face up or face down? Would lay, you lay them out in front of you? No, you just you put them up like a hand of cards. Okay. And then one of you goes first. Okay. And then you play the cards that you want to play. I just mean like... It, when after we build them, do you see what the other person? Builds? No, okay. no. The, sorry, yeah. The, the, the built decks are face down. Okay. Then you flip. You, so then you take one of your decks and you play against each other, a limited mana, okay. and then whoever it's best out of five. Got it. And then you like, could do you switch you, decks each time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you when you win, each you check once. Yeah, you play each deck once. So, see, so let's quickly see if you okay. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So you guys need to make so uh, which what that okay yeah sorry. So yeah, take out the, um, give me that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, now you make, yeah, so five decks of... Three decks of three. five. No, five decks of three. Oh, five decks of Five decks of, of three. three. Okay. Okay. And then and you, you have will, unlimited mana of every color. Unlimited mana of okay. every color. Okay. This is weird. So what three, Adam is in chat, says, dude, this game is legit the best. It's <laughs> a lot of fun. So it's what three cards can win you the game. Yeah. And you will, it, you're either, obviously you're either going to win, you're going to lose, or you could easily just get into a stalemate, right? Like, you could just both play cards. And do and you just, have 20 life? Uh, just, no, you have five. Okay. Five life? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, you have five life. Then. I apologize, I didn't say that. So that you have five life. We did this with Amonkhet down in Vegas. What we learned is Fling is a very good card in this format. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, uh, Colossipede Fling, you win. <laughs> Yeah, Adam literally, Fling oh, was a stone-cold combo in a cage-only version of this game. Hive mind. So what happens when you deck yourself? Um, you just, you play your cards and then that's it. Oh, okay. And then you just go, right? Like, once you've played your cards, you look at the board state and... And determine. And, oh, okay. and you're like, I'm gonna win, you're gonna win. Gotcha. It's gonna be pretty straightforward after you've played it once, I think you'll understand, yeah. like... Fair enough. Yeah. Have you played this before, Nelson? No, I just understand variants a little bit. You know, like uh, variants of magic. Like I played a bunch of games where you have infinite mana or, or a small, mm. smaller deck or a smaller life total. Yeah. What happens if I have a one card deck? <laughs> <laughs> they all have to have three cards, and I think we're part of the rules. Hmm. No, there is no mill plan. Infinite mana. So you basically just you get to play your whole hand first turn, right? Essentially, yeah. yeah. You can if you want. If you want, yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. Um, no, Ben's making five decks. These are my lands. Here, I'll make one to throw away. <laughs> you kind of have to at that point. Do I have a, one of those things? I really don't. That's Bolus insta win. Yep. <laughs> that's just one deck win. Yeah. You so, more, so, is, is, so is it just best of five? It's best of five. So the way that we actually played it at Vegas was technically wrong because we were taught um, four decks of three, which means you got to ditch your land and one other card, right? No, you, you got to ditch your land and two cards that you thought were kind of terrible. But the problem with doing it that way is then it's a best of four, which doesn't work because you can end in a tie. Right. I think I heard that this was this game was Cedric's. I think, like Cedric, 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 Cedric Phillips. Phillips and Denver, maybe? I believe is what they said. Okay, sure. I'm ready. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, so you got your decks. Yeah. Do we right. odd or even, or how do we, we want to rock uh, scissors sure. first? Ready? One, two, best of one. <laughs> 
You got it. Okay. I got it. Sorry. You got it. I rock, yeah. paper, scissors. Uh, okay. All right, so we've got the overhead. It's Hopefully it's not too... No way this goes, but... Yeah. Ready? Okay. Tapped Desert of the True. Okay. Sure. Sidewinder Naga. Dune Diviner. Go. Okay. Uh, Wretched Camel. You got it. Carrier Naga. Okay. Even of Enduring Hope. Gain three life, go to eight. You're at eight. Like, I think you win. Untap. Uh, I have a four two trample that trades poorly against your two three, so I can't attack there. Yeah, these two are going to trade. This is going to hold this down. This is going to kill me. Yeah. All right, game one. Ben wins game one. Okay, I'm on the play. Mm -hmm. Is that how this works? Yep. Going into game two? Yep. Sure. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Aerial guide, Canra scrapper, steadfast sentinel. Sure. Go. Frontline devastator, bitter bow, sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. Hold a card in hand. You got it. <laughs> Attack for two. Attack for two? Attack for two. Sure, take two. Go. All right. Jiro's renunciation. Tap two Tap dudes. Tap two dudes. Swing in for seven. Mm. Can't you just make this infinitely large? Like a half. Oh, you have to which, block that one. Yeah. Which dudes? Are, which dudes? Oh, right. Tapping. That thing has vigilance. God damn. Which okay. dudes are you tapping? Um. Hmm. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't realize that had vigilance. Like a fool. <laughs> I guess the. Well, we'll, I did my best to represent it. We'll block, yeah, no. <laughs> Just, <laughs> you may have uh, seen the, me tapping cards earlier. The uh, the scrapper and the sentinel. Block this guy. Go to one. Sure. Uh, yes. Sure. Tag for two. Block it. Eternalize. Sure. Go. <laughs> eh, I'm still dead. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. I just I, right. I can I can block and trade and block and chop. Or no, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this one is got in, infinity three, right? Yeah. Cool. And deflect two, right? So. Oh, so I was gonna die if I blocked that guy, yeah. or die if I didn't block yeah. that guy. Oh, we missed that afflict trigger the turn before. So I died the turn before. Either way. Uh, you got to catch your yeah. afflict trigger, homie. Gee, oh, sorry. Judge. And this was for sure legit thing. I see your graveyard. Chat, chat yes. got it. Yeah, chat. Yeah, really. Chat sees it. All right. Uh, Nelson. Yeah, you're okay. Up. Merciless Eternal. Sure. Better bow sharpshooters go. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, mountain. <laughs> Damn it. Cunning Survivor. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Go. Sure. I have, a, I have a kill spell, and yeah. then you have to lose three life or sacrifice an online permanent. No, no mind. Do you want to lose the three life? Uh, you're oh, either way. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll take the loss. All right, you're on two, the play. two for Ben, one for Nelson. Sure. <sighs> okay. Oh, I guess I should play this last. Cool. All right. Okay. Got the Riddle form. Sure. Sinew Striker. Holding okay. card in hand. Is this unblockable? No. Oh, it's eternalized. Yeah. But you have to discard and a card, so it doesn't work. Unless you want to do that. Hmm? Interesting. I don't know mm. what's happening. Okay. Wretched Camel, Angel of Condemnation, go. Sure. I scry on your end step. Oh, you got it. Wretched Camel. Yeah. He's not so wretched at all. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious Camel. All right. So, yeah, it's your turn. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Ben, can you put your cards on the reader? This is like the most interesting card we've had in the format so far. I have this guy and this guy. Swing. Block. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Untap. Attack. <gasps> Farm. Destroy. Wow. How do you always get me? I think we stalemate this. Stalemate. Yeah. But Riddle Form's a creature now, too. For this turn, yes. Oh, I can't. Sorry, also, we figured out that we can't use this to save itself, right? No, because it's what's well, tapped, right? I kept a pump spell to try to keep this alive. All right. Okay. Uh, so two, two one, one. one. Mm -hmm. All right. Last, last one. Uh, who went first that game? Uh, I did. So yeah. You, can't, you, you can go. go first. No, you have no, to go first because oh. you, we drew the last yeah. game. Res <laughs> oh! Sure. Uh, so everyone kept their big stuff for the end. Survivor's encampment. I didn't. You, the chat may have figured out that I haven't played my basic uh, land yet. Oh, right. And I'll say go. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> have this real prowler. Yeah. Go. Tragic lesson. Return survivor's encampment to it. God damn. Swing for eight. Chandra's defeat doesn't matter. Oh. Yay! 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 Thanks for the games. All right, so that is how that 
<laughs> particular or, flavor of magic. Or works. before before damage, I pay six life and we tie. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you got a was that a foil resic? No. no, no. Foil wretched camel though. Yeah. Yeah. And I got this sweet bomb that couldn't win me a three card game of limited. <laughs> um, you got farmed. Yeah, I this did. Card makes no, I don't. I, I mean, I love. I love this card. Too? Draw two cards and discard two cards. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. This card's pretty sweet. I mean, a lot of people are just playing it legitimately just for farm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a playable card. But it was so funny because Adam was tweeting about. In fact, this normally card. this costs four. Like this card's quite good, right? Adam Adam was tweeting about this card, and he's just like, I just don't get it. Why is the zombie going like getting for like getting fruit and whatnot? I'm like, my dude, that is not fruit. Like, he's <laughs> <at the> <laughs> um, all right, guys, that is gonna do it for the magic card opening portion of tonight's stream. But we're gonna take a quick break and stick around for some uh, exciting festivities on the other side. Ooh. So stick around, and we'll be back in just a couple minutes. I don't also, even check know what that means. To see my nails. I don't know yeah, what that I means. I keep seeing that. Look, it's my nails. Yeah. Yes. Wow. They're pretty. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hold tight. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Thought Beach. Happy birthday to you. I go pick up a cake for my birthday. Yeah. And this is what you have waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love I love the Slack uh, m messages though. Uh, Beach writes, "Drop the receipt for the happy birthday thought Beach cake in the inbox." We cracked the thought seas, and Veer gave us eighty eight hundred bits for ice cream. Graham says, "We have weird jobs." Cameron <laughs> says, "Cameron says not a single goddamn word in that statement make a lick of sense." <laughs> Corey says, "Just like." Seconds ago, I have no idea what the context is, but I un understand every word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, yeah. Beach. Now we will eat. Now you're making him cut his own cake. The what? That's how. What? That's what you do. Yeah, that's no. what you do. Do you? Abs uh, yeah, the person you like to cut the cake. No, the Dude, on my birthday, he doesn't you, want to. You wait on me. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. And, and on fun. Ben's birthday, he's just in a bath with a cigar. <laughs> yeah. and him Dude, I'm gonna bring back like if, I'm gonna bring yeah. that uh, kiddie pool back to the moon base. I'm just go. gonna sit and nice. like wait in my Ben juice all day. And we're just gonna walk past <laughs> you and ignore you. <laughs> all right. Who would like cake? Oh, that's you. your piece. Perfect. Who wants to cut the cake? Yeah, now, now we go. Right. Um, Paul, we might want to switch off magic, by the way. Ben, you just phoned. Ben just showed his Since phone. Now we're just in chat. birthday Sorry? cake mode. Social eating. Social eating? Uh, it, just IRL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, IRL's taken over from social media. Yeah, IRL's yeah. basically taken over everything that isn't video game play. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. What about poker? Thank you. I have you. to be very cautious because I am lactose intolerant, so... <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you the one who suggested this case? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, like, the lactose high is what you're going for. Kind of, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beach is going to sleep good tonight mm, and yeah. the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birth week, Thought Beach. <laughs> Thanks, Thought Beach. Happy birth week to you. I had, um, you know, it was hard coming up with um, things to put on the cake. And I thought, actually, this is very succinct. You guys cracked it. I was going to put, like, happy invocation day. And I was like, no, you know what? Fuck it. I'm getting a cake. It's on my birthday. It's going to say happy birthday, Beach, and it's somewhere. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. yeah, Jeff brings up a good point, Beach. Just eat. Just eat the ice cream around the dairy. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. I believe that might require uh, sub-molecular eating prowess, mm. but I'm sure you can do it. Paul, you want some cake, buddy? I do. Okay. All right. Let's make sure. Let me just eat go. cake over the mixing board here. <laughs> we should get Paul a plate. We should yeah. get Paul a plate. Oh, Heather, do you want some ice cream? I do. Want some Come wine? get some ice cream. No, you, you have to eat it all. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're not coming home with me. <laughs> mm. So overall, what is your favorite card from Hour of Devastation? The Angel. You know? That format Angel? Yeah, I've said the Angel combination is probably my favorite card. I just think it's, it can do a lot of cool stuff. So that's my answer. Hmm. Probably Blood Moon. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think I washed all the dishes this morning. Yeah, thank you. That card's really good. Yeah. I've lost the Blood Moon so many times. I do run it. Yeah. Um, Wanna... How much cake do you want, Paul? Uh, average. Small What's average? Like less than what I had. Up here? Yeah. Uh, mm. that, no, a little smaller than that. Less than what I average? Yeah, that's you good. want like, that, that's good you, right want, like you know, three eighths of a cubic <laughs> foot 
of cake. Mm. Right. Yeah. I like Can that. Can you help me with this, James? Yeah. You're gonna do oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Team fine. effort. At some point, <laughs> Dairy Queen realized that go most this. people get the ice cream cake specifically because of like the cookie layer. Yeah. And they were just like, fuck it. it. Here's just the cookie layer. Yeah. <laughs> the really? Cakes. Oh, yeah. Wow. There, there was a cake waiting there, and I almost got it because mm. I thought it'd be hilarious. And so. I thought, oh, but it wouldn't be as fun. Oh. Um, all it was was the white layer. Okay. There was no decoration. There was nothing along the edges. It was just the white layer combed, and that's it. And I'm like, the stark white. That would have been actually pretty great. Isn't, isn't that just soft serve ice cream? I th well, I think I think there's still the bit in the middle with the cookie and whatnot, but it was just like I'd never seen a cake in their display case that was undressed in some way. Right, right. You know, they didn't have like something on it, and I was like, oh crap, this is like this is a very minimalist cake. But I didn't trust that they were going to be able to write in Helvetica on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite card, Beach, from our? From our devastation? Is it? It's not out on Puzzle Quest yet, is it? No. You have Almond Cat cards, right? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Almond Cat card from Puzzle Quest? Oh, Christ. You like um, in, the mill card one. Oh, no. Right, you're th right. No, my, I mean, I liked, okay. You my liked favorite card right now that I play with is Startled Awake. From, yeah, yeah, but that's from, old, right? That's from Innistrad. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been able from to... From New Innistrad. I have mm -hmm. so many... I'm saving up most of my Amonkhet stuff. So every Amonkhet card I've opened so far has been a common or an uncommon. Okay. And so I'm going to have to go with Sacred Cat. Sacred Cat's a pretty good card. Because, yeah, you know. because also, when you guys, when you embalm a card, you have to put a little thing on that says embalmed, right? Right. When I embalm a card, it comes back on, and the thing in the card is wrapped in... Bandage. Oh, wow. oh yeah, cool, we, yeah, we have tokens. Yeah. Like, there yeah. are tokens that show that. Yeah. But that's cool that it just does that in the video game. It just game. does it automatically, and I'm like, that's creepy as hell, that cat is now wrapped <laughs> that's, I think that's my favorite part about the embalm mechanic, is that they just literally took the art for most of these things already and just mummified it. Mm. <laughs> it's really cool. There's so many, like... Gotta save on token art somehow. Yeah, right? Yeah. I like, I just like kind of sitting down with the artist and being like, okay, just remember that every single thing that you you make for We're gonna white out all of it. Yeah, with and some, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so keep it on a different layer. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Best man one says, "Beej, I'm currently trying to beat Torrential Gear Hulk. Any suggestions?" Hmm. Um, We're talking about Puzzle Quest, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like. Ha <laughs> ha. Jesus. Um, Cry. I've, been, I've been able to, yeah, Jesus. Um, all the Gear Hulks are rough because uh, I think we're doing Unfaithful Showdown right now as an event, mm. and you go through three different gear, gear Hulks. What I ended up doing to get lucky, at least to win once, I'm playing a Johnny Vengeance um, who has a mechanic, has a Planeswalker ability that he can gain light, life back, so that helps. But I'm running um, Summoning Bonds. What's the thing? Suppression bonds. Suppression bonds, where you can disable first creature your, your opponent controls, mm -hmm. and then I also have um, another one that that casts for six mana, and then I have another one that casts for six mana that that destroys target disabled creature. Mm -hmm. So okay. you basically run this support that just freezes the first creature and then immediately just toss it out, and that support just stays resident yeah. the entire game until they kill it. So that's I'd be interested feet. to see if like on Puzzle Quest they sort of like. Uh, altered difficulty of these creatures and stuff like that based on like the playability of the card because it's like uh, like um, Torrential Gear Hulk is like the best of the Gear Hulks yeah. like hands down um, and he has in the game he has 375 hit points Jesus that's a lot of hit points yeah um, and then I'd say like probably the green one and then black red white I would say like Cataclysmic and yeah. Yeah. No, like nobody plays the white one. <laughs> <laughs> the white one's really cool. It's yeah. it's a neat idea. I just I, at least I it haven't hasn't seen found a home yet. It. I've yeah. never seen it on the stack outside of limited either. I thought that red one would make a bigger splash, but most of the time people are just like, sure, draw three cards. <laughs> it's like a sweet EDH card. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually does get played in, in Highlander a little bit in big red. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, it's just kind of like a funny bomb it turned out being. Yeah. yeah. All right, now eat that. No. <laughs> I can already hear my large intestine just screaming at me. Yeah. Like, Ew! Well, yeah. Um, I can smell it. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's going like. 
Is there, are you unclear about what has lactose in it? <laughs> Do we need to go over that this is, again? No, but that is literally every friend who's lactose intolerant, though. Yeah. Every single one that I have is like, they're all just like, oh, I shouldn't be eat this, eating this. I'm lactose intolerant. I'm like, oh, and then they're always eating it. And so they're, good. like, half the time, they're the ones who are like, let's go to DQ. I'm like, yeah. what the, what are you talking yeah, yeah. about? I, I partake of this cream, thing because it says my name and birthday on it. Yeah. Yeah. Only... A gift for oh, after thank you. Yeah, this will be good. For them, rather. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. The forbidden... <laughs> That's for Beach to throw up in. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the, it's the forbidden it's fruit is so much sweeter. Right. The yeah. forbidden um, cake. It's it's true. I mean, like, I was like, ice cream cake. Everyone likes ice cream cake, right? It's fact. Though, um, re I realized after the fact that, given how much that they were able to write on it and the way they were able to write on it, I could have ordered the log. It would have been a lot less cake. This is fine. This is, there's, there, now there's some ice cream in the freezer for other people. Yeah. For the next time someone opens an invitation. Yeah. Mm. We'll, so we'll save this until uh, Yeah, we should Ixalan try to keep this out. till Ixalan. <laughs> <laughs> It'll have like a layer of frost on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to try to bite and it kind of stabs you in the mouth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. That'd be a good punishment. That's going to do it for mm -hmm. this evening's stream. It was a weird, another weird one. I like how ice cream has now just become a like fact, just a part of this booster case opening stream. Yeah. Thanks, Defrost. Yeah, yeah. You've um, like embedded ice cream into the Cracker Case night. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Um, just before we thank all of our subs and resubs and bit givers, uh, tomorrow coming up on the stream. We have 18 games and counting. Paul and myself will be here at 10.30 a.m. playing the 18th most popular game on Twitch as of 8 a.m. Pacific tomorrow morning. Uh, more Magic tomorrow afternoon with Lore MTG. Graham and I will be here. We're going to be playing uh, Arab Devastation because it's out on Mitko now, which is yes. great. Isn't that weird? So I that, have to wait another day. <laughs> yeah, that that is exciting. I'm really stoked that we're going to be playing that tomorrow. And then um, tomorrow night on Talking Simulator, Cameron and Alex are playing... Something cowboy, quadrilateral cowboy. Quadrilateral cowboy. Thank oh, you very much. It's a, um, apparently it's Alex's like, I think favorite puzzle game or like one of the ones he really, really, really enjoys. Yeah. Um, and I think it might be more accurate to say it's one of the ones he doesn't hate. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Um, so be here for that because I think that's going to be really interesting. Uh, but in the meantime, let's welcome our subs and resubs and bit givers. Who do we got? Oh, who do we not have? <laughs> Probably a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, How many people are on this planet there again? Are more than a billion people watching us right now? Come on. There's got to be lots of people uh, we don't have. All right, here we go. Finn. Brett0047 is a new subscriber. Welcome. Hey, Dan and Storm12 with that 36 month resub. That's three years, baby. Wow. Thank you, Dan and Storm. Thank you for subbing, Gigapit. <laughs> Nine months. Sup, baby? g -jipped. XS Scar for 23 months. The sound of plastic could not be more addictive than it is here. <laughs> it's Yayas, yeah, yeah, yes, boy. <laughs> Brand new subscriber. Yayas, yeah, yes, boy. You, unicornly with that four month resub. So foil, much shine. Cars on 235 for 14 months. Yeah. Welcome back. Beware the pickle for four months. 200 yeah, lure. Woo. It's been a good day. You know, it's yeah, going to yeah. open an invocation. Empyreon for 20 months. 20 months, 200 plus sub train. <laughs> an adequate evening. Quite. Mm. Yes. Uh, Elder Atropos with that 34 month resub. Welcome back, Elder. The Bears. <laughs> Welcome, new subscriber. Awesome. Booster 6 for a 14 month resub. Welcome back, Booster 6. It's Arctic Fox. Wait, for nice. four months. Thank Arc you very, very much. <laughs> to Grath with that nine month resub, the hour of devastation seems like a great time for a sub baby. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible plan. Oh no, for 12 months. Oh, I thought it was for me. Yep. Cannons okay. are an instrument for 22 months. <laughs> Quick to the beach cave. Happy beach day. Oh, hey. Happy beach day. Mike Smith, 916 for 35 months. Thank you very much, Mike Smith. And thank you for the 10,619 wow. bits, 8,800 of which came from Defrost right there. Uh, Van Bale, Derek underscore G, Fishor, Acer Blade, mm -hmm. and Vestman1. 
Uh, thank you so much for those bits, guys. That's really awesome. It was a great day. 209 on the uh, the storm count there. I literally thought that was just on the stream. Something, I'm, I'm yeah. strapping in for a long time. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's watch and play day, baby. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> that, that's our big day. So thank you, everybody, for I, subbing, resubbing, following. I think someone was also saying this is uh, the um, Amazon Prime... Oh, that day. Prime day. Yeah, that'll, oh, yeah, that'll help as well, for sure, yeah. It, I mean, every watch and play is always a, like 120, 30, 40, 50 plus sub day, so. Rough. Um, I know Graham and Alex have a lot of fun with that, so. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Really appreciate it. Uh, as always, thanks to Nelson and Yellow Jacket for helping us out and bringing the cards over. If you're ever in Victoria, go visit them. I know a lot of you do, and we really, really, really appreciate it, so um, do so. Yeah, thanks. Bye, Ben. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Beach. Happy, Beach. Happy birthday, Beach. Thank you, Thank you Paul. And Where am I going? You're going off the stream, baby. Oh. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh, God. Have you ever been to Souk? <laughs> We're going to Souk! Run! Shit, run! Bye, guys. Do I bring a sleeping bag? <laughs>